<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the After Show Live. Uh, is this the first, second of the year? Second. Second, yeah. No, it, it, well, the third, because you would have had the New Year special and all. Uh, oh, yeah, technically, yeah. Yeah? Was I'll the was, was the last one not the New Year one? No. No. Uh, no like, oh, sea Devils, what am I talking about? <laughs> so... Well, it was really forgettable. Yeah. <laughs> that epic adventure in space and time. Mm. So we're talking about the power of the dot there tonight. We're going to be here till midnight. He's... <laughs> I hope so he's well rested. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Just let everyone's face just drop then. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> uh, so um, how, how are you all doing? Um, Mark, we'll go clockwise. Hello. How are you doing, Mark? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, I'm fully embracing my impending old age because I'm going to be 50 next year. So um, I managed to fall over the other week quite badly and uh, it still hurts quite a lot. Oh. Apart oh. from that, fine. Yeah. At what point does it start counting as you've had a fall? Like, well, yeah, that's it. You know, I, he's had a fall I in the night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your wife will be giving me one of those things you put around your neck, so you know, press the button to fall. <laughs> I'm going to get you Wiltshire like Farm Foods brochure. Oh, thanks, Harry. <laughs> oh. Oh, so, Matt, how are you doing? Yeah, very well. I was up your way yesterday, Rob. Oh yeah. Yeah. Went sorry, to Metro Center. I couldn't come out to play. Is the uh, skip still blocking the gate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He hasn't left the house in six months. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got out. Yeah, it, it was nice. Nice up there. Where did you go to eat? Um, we went down by the quayside. And we didn't go to Hard Rock. We went to, like, some pub opposite. I can't mm. remember what it was called. Oh, it was nice. Let's go. Cool. What's that noise? Is that you, Harry? It's not me. <laughs> Is it me? It's Luke doing the vacuuming in the background. <laughs> yeah. I, my microphone keeps saying it. Is anybody lit up blue when we're not speaking? Um, Shona. Oh, me. Oh. What oh. should I be doing? Wait, what? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> sound like a plane. Yeah, it did sound like... <laughs> mine's constantly well, blue. Mine is blue. Well, mine is blue unless I mute myself. Should I be on mute? Oh, that's a fact. Oh, that is. It just keeps it. There's probably a Anyway, second. this is thrilling listening for the, uh, the viewers. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I haven't well, checked to see if I can actually on. hear you. You carry on and I'll have a look at <laughs> Oh, Looks like it's working. Oh, there we oh, go. Bonus, yeah. So yeah, I'm fine, Rob. Move on. That's good. Um, Move on. <laughs> Shona, how are you doing? What have you been up to? Um, I'm good. I could only watch Doctor Who last night instead of the night before, but I managed to avoid all spoilers before that happened. How? Um, well, when I went into work, before I let anyone speak, I was like, stop. I haven't seen Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> and it was nothing short of miraculous that I made it through, but I did. So I think it's a pretty good win. That's good. I think I was an hour or so behind, and I thought that was a bit of a gamble. What? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. <laughs> when you have children, Harry, you just all the, everything else goes out the window. You have to schedule things around them. So, yeah, we were in the same situation. One thing I did like was... I sat down with my wife to watch it and I said, now this is going to end with David Tennant saying what, what, what. And it did. So uh, that was a good prediction. That was a pretty safe bet, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> How long have you known that, Rob? You're inside, man. I've always known. <laughs> Just had a feeling. Rob and Ian Levine are like that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, Cassie, how are you? How are you doing? Hello, I'm all right, thanks, and good. What have you been up to? Um, 
what have we been up to? Well, we've started recording again over here um, for our podcast Yay. after a little hiatus. So, um, fuck up and running, keep the socials going. Yeah, we're good. That's cool. Um, yeah, keeping tabs on what's happening as well because I'm looking to see what everybody else thought because I haven't been able to say anything in our group chat because people were behind. And oh. so I've been sitting on it for a while. I'm desperate to talk about this now. <laughs> <laughs> So, how are you doing, Harry, and where the hell's Luke? Um, I'm very well. Luke is... I mean, the best bet is that he's asleep. Ooh. It's always a safe bet. If you don't hear from him, he's just asleep. Is he just going to emerge off the floor? Is he asleep on the floor? No. I hope not, because he doesn't live here. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, And it's a bit far, look, sort of 13 mile that way for me to have a look. Mm. But uh, How often does he sleep over? Never? Never. I don't think he ever has, to be honest. What about an all-nighter? I mean, back in the early days of the pod, we used to do some pretty hefty, lengthy episodes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And uh, normally we wouldn't start recording until, like, ten. So, uh, yeah, there's been some... uh, The sun rising, as we're saying. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. You boys have got some stamina. Yeah. yeah, well, not anymore. We don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for anyone who's not been paying attention, Harry and Luke were guests on my show, and the experience was so awful, they decided to never do a Doctor Who podcast ever again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm really sorry. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Torchwood, it's got me absolutely <laughs> clamouring. <laughs> 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 <sighs> are you going are you straight in? oh uh, i'm good uh, well actually good I'm, I'm not good uh, i've been uh, i've had a cold for like a week and a half um oh. hope, hope it would have went i've got um cough sweets but they vanished so i'm screwed um, where are they oh, holes fisherman's friend ah uh holes black current the classic yeah mm. Yeah. Where did you get them from? Sainsbury's. Oh. Posh boy Rob. (laughs) I don't always go there. Pasta for dinner. (laughs) Yeah, God. (laughs) You're not going down to a pound zone. You'd probably get a whole crate of those. Five (laughs) feet. Yeah. So, what we've got on the agenda. Introductions until quarter past. That was twenty past. Now <laughs> we need to cram in uh, what's coming up on everyone's podcast. Ooh. Clockwise again, Mark. <laughs> right. Well, um, <clears throat> as of right now, I've just put out a trailer today for our episode on the moon base. Yeah, Harry's a big fan of that one. Um, so yeah, there's my, me and my friend Ian. We're watching all of Doctor Who in order. And our guest for the next episode is going to be John Rivers, who's really funny and very knowledgeable. I thought you were going to say so, Joan uh, Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, comes too, yeah. Joan Rivers! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so that's the next one scheduled to go out. Uh, that will be in a couple of weeks' time. Um, nice. We've actually finished recording season four, but I've just got to edit lots of episodes, so kind of staggering it out a bit. So do you have like a whole phase of production and then you just end a post-production phase? Uh, you make that sound really organised, Rob. No, it's more a case of uh, I'm a bit of a one-man show. So with work and having a child and other things kind of means that the amount of spare time I've got to do it to the level I want it to be is not always that much. So I try and kind of work it around that. But I'm hoping as we start to edge out of the black and white era, um, that things will speed up a bit because you don't have stories that are 12 parts. Yeah. Mm. See, we're, yeah, we, we've got a Daleks master plan coming up. Have Th- you? Thanks to you, Mark. Oh, my God. So we're still debating how we're going to do it. Yeah. Well, we did it over two episodes because, you know, it took about three and a half hours to talk it through. Yeah. That plane's getting louder. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> if I 
it's, it's Matt's booked a helicopter in case someone <laughs> brings up Torchwood again and then he's out of here, he's gone. <laughs> Matt's on his jet. Yeah. Maybe my laptop's So, uh, Matt, yeah. Matt, what's coming up on your podcast? Uh, Torchwood, got, Torchwood, and more Torchwood. We've got one episode left of Torchwood, and that's it done for the year. So we finished series one. Um, so we're going to go back to Sarah Jane Adventures, but not until the new year. So we've got some bonus episodes that we promised we'd do in January for the end of the So we're going to take time off, do that. And then over Christmas, we've just taken a break. We've got your A to Z, haven't you? So, you know, yeah, so can't wait. I can't remember. David's got his own Dalek master plan. He's announcing this week of what we're doing and where we're going. But yeah, finally finished Torchwood. That's all that really matters. <laughs> Shona, cool. what's what's coming up on your next next wave? Oh, things are finally coming up. Um, so. We decided to go back and do the missing episodes that we had not done before we go into season three because it's nearly all missing episodes. So we're like, let's just go back and do them. Um, so I'm hoping this week we're going to release a little just sort of catch up we did just because there was so much Doctor Who news over the last year, I suppose, the last like number of months. Um, so... I'll release that. It's just me and Cassie kind of having a, a bit of a chat about that stuff. And then we'll be into Marco Polo and away we go. And we've got, um, we've got Matt coming up as a guest and Mark and Harrison. And yeah, it will be, it will be good. Lots of familiar faces. Brilliant. Yeah. Can't wait. Our own extended fam. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so Harry, any news on season two? Uh well, funny you should mention that, Rob. <laughs> uh we did uh we spoke the other day and we came to the ultimate decision <laughs> that we were gonna just stop. <laughs> so um that has not changed as of yet, I don't think. I think that is still the last that we left it in the text chat. Um, but uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it just have to be guests on our shows all the yeah. time. Then. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, Harry yeah. for hire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm cheap, so yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, uh, we've still got a few sort of um, bits and pieces to put out. I think. I think um, we've got some compilation bits and pieces, just sort of mm. so everything's there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we ditched Doctor Who, and uh, there you go. Talk for it all the way now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, can't wait. Yeah, that's cool. Um, next Monday, not next Monday. Yeah, is it is next Monday Halloween? Yeah, we've got yeah. our mm-hmm. Torchwood review of uh, episode two. Oh, look at you! That's that great. Yeah. yeah, can't wait. What's is episode one, two? Yeah, is, is it the spooky? Sexy smoke? The sex gas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good lord. That was an interesting one, yeah. Mm. It's funny how. Wait, correct me if I'm wrong on this, right? But is episode two of Star Trek Next Generation, season one, episode two, is that not the one where they all get drunk? Like, it's a similar thing. There's like a. There's like a... So, so yeah, season one, episode two is the naked now. What are you, are you talking about? Did you just say the next generation? Yeah, yeah. We're not At talking start, about Torchwood. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait, wait. Stay with <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, but stay don't with show me. us joining up there. I've, got, I've gone off grids, but I'm like, just. Well, I was just thinking that doesn't season one, episode two of Star Trek: The Next Generation, is that not the episode where it's they get they all get an infect? Wesley That's accidentally unleashes something. That makes them all drunk and mm. and Data's Dayton, going to pull all the chips back in before the big asteroid hits. Yes, he does put all the chips back yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all drunk and horny. And um, anyway, I just saw a parallel. <laughs> I saw a parallel and I went for it. Right. Yeah, I'm mm. going to mute myself again. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I think we're way behind schedule now. Oh, so, no. uh, oh, so it's just in time for our new game. Ooh. So, so tonight we're going to be playing after show trick or treat. Ooh. Very simple. We have a new. Good, because I am very simple. I'm going to activate our new time space visualizer. Check that out. Look all around you. Uh, so this this, this is wow, the, the, these <laughs> can't see a thing, but anyway, yeah, yeah. So th- th- these fancy things around here, these are grid references mm. around all of time and space, mm. and uh, you need to you need to pick one and just look for it's trick or treat. So you're looking for sweets. Yeah. Um, if you find a pumpkin, you lose a sweet. Oh. We, we also have another objective here. There's five. Missing artifacts that have been lost through time, um, and we need to find all parts. And is one of them Matt's beard? Could be. <laughs> time will tell. It'll be back. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, you <laughs> work. You're working together to find those, but you're working against each other on the trick or treat game. So uh, we'll go clockwise, and uh, he's up hitting grid references. So we've okay, got. Okay, bear in mind, I can't see this grid. You so can't see say... a thing. I'm going to say A1. A1, okay. So, activating A1. Oh, you've got a pumpkin. So, you would have lost points if you had them. Well, (laughs) that's that's a bonus, isn't it? (laughs) So, uh, I guess Matt can go next. Uh, Which one did Matt say, sorry? He's done A1. Uh, I'll go B4. Uh, B4, okay. B4 who? Oh, I'm here all night. Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry you got a pumpkin. It's all right, uh, we're taking him out <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the best way. <laughs> Shona, take a grid reference. I can't see a grid. Am I meant to be seeing a grid? If you're watching on YouTube, let, let, let me just uh, take a picture and I'll show you. Oh, thank you. I mean, obviously I can just, I, 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 I you know, I can do Smile, one for now. Smile, say cheese. I'll put, cheese. I'll put that in the group chat. Amazing. But I guess I'll do C2 because I know that that will exist. I'm afraid it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't? Because we are in the centre of the grid. You're in it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what I'm looking at, you've just won Rob. Yay! Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, <sweet. laughs> right, uh, I'll do C one. C one. C one. You can do C one. Okay. Alright. Gonna unveil C one. <gasps> you found a missing piece of the of the oh. puzzle. Oh my god! Is it a missing episode that I now don't need to troll through and can just watch like an ep- a normal episode? So let's have a little look. We'll go to the artifact screen now. And reveal C1, uh, you've unve- unveiled the sapphire stone. And all these pieces fit together to reveal something at the end of the night. Okay, oh. I've got the sapphire stone. Making a note. Okay. Sweet. Okay, Carolyn. No, no, not a sweet. Oh, oh, there's a graphic. <laughs> Hang on, I'm following the graphics here. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, um... I I'm running on a bit of a delay here. Can I have D six? You can. D six. Yes, please. Oh, you found a lost story of Doctor Who. Oh. <gasps> Give her a... Don't say what it is. That's what I asked for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. D six is a question. And you'll earn three sweets for this. Oh, damn. Okay. Come on, Caroline. No. <laughs> Which was the first missing story to be officially animated? Oh. Uh. We've watched all these in a. Uh, oh. We've watched all these in a dodgy order as well. <clears throat> oh, just stretch it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Cyberman one, isn't it? But I'm struggling. Um. <sighs> I want to say Tomb of the Cybermen, that's not even an animated one. <laughs> Do 
Shauna's about to punch me. Look at her face. She's like, I'm, you're actually not on my podcast anymore if you get this wrong. Look at her face. No, I, I have no idea. <laughs> oh. It's like you were about to scream it at me. Like, no, I'm like, I was, I was like, you. I was like, how great is it that this isn't me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, I'm just going to pick a random one. <laughs> The invasion. I know that one. Well done. <laughs> Woo! Thank God, because ah! I couldn't find the DVD. Jammy <laughs> thing. Well done. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's the oh. only Cyberman. Is there another Cyberman one that's been animated? Um, yeah. There's the Moon Base. Tenth yes, Planet. So there is, because you guys have just done that one. Tenth Planet. Yeah. Ah, see, I just had to pick one. I could not have told you that was the first one that they'd done there. Mm. I want the wheel in space. I want the wheel in space. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Harold. Your okay. Move. I'm going to go for the most popular of the plain paper sizes, A4. Uh-huh. A4. Please. Fair enough. It is another lost story. Ooh. Yes. yes. Ooh. Yeah. Get in. Okay. For three sweeties. Okay, you ready? Yes. E- episode 4 of the Celestial Toy Maker was first included in which home media release? Uh, Lost in Time. Is that your final DVD. answer? Uh, I don't know if it came out on VHS first. Yes, Lost in Time DVD. I'm afraid it was the Hartnell years. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wrong there, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh well. Oh. So that was round one. So Carolyn oh, well, that Car- was very exciting. Carolyn's in the lead with one sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and the invasion. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Eight episodes and that was sweet has got to last year. <laughs> uh, so It's all downhill uh, from here for me. So that's it. We haven't got another round scheduled until ten o'clock. Oh god. <laughs> it's only wow. twenty minutes. Suspense. <laughs> Um, we've got a power of the doctor chat plan between that. Oh, let's just oh. do another round. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should say hello to all the people in the chat. Um, hello, people in the chat. Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. hello Harry. Hello, Rob. <laughs> Hi, Mark. <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Hello, Krusty Chris. I don't know Krusty Chris. I don't think. You don't want it based on that, man. Well, I'm. <laughs> hey, okay, some things with crusts are good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a pizza crust. Like say. A nice crusty load. Oh, do you think? Do you think we should load. let let Sonia pick a grid reference? Ooh, that's a no. bit dangerous. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she yeah. is a patron, isn't she, sir? She is a patron. That will be getting cancelled this week. Everybody's accounts <laughs> are on hold, so don't worry. We need yeah. refunds. <laughs> you will be refunded for this month. <laughs> What did everyone think of this episode? I've waited 24 hours to discuss it. <laughs> None of my other friends like Doctor Thank Who. You. I've tried talking to my mum about it. She hates Doctor Who. Well, right. wow. what, what's everyone's thoughts on this right. episode? Go I on. haven't even told what? Liam yet. One right. word. Go round. Oh, one two word. words. <laughs> A short <laughs> sentence. <laughs> no one wants to go. Where are we going? Who's going first? I'm, I'll uh, use two words. Oh. Okay. Fan wank. <laughs> <laughs> I that, think you'll find that's all one word. Th- and that's not an oh, opinion. Okay. That's just what it is. What's your? What's your? Oh. That's a very ambiguous answer. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm do, what need do you to think? Go into more than just like two words to actually get across. You're gonna really need to beat it out. I've, I've yeah. seen that word used so much on Twitter, that, and mm. like some people are being quite gracious about it as a good thing, and other people are really not and using it. <laughs> I'm as not a using it as a pejorative. Thing. Yeah. It's a, it's a positive thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If anyone knows me in real life, they know I'm more about the fan wank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Banned from every Comic Con. <laughs> I would like to take now to admit that when you said fan wank, 
I mm. thought for a second you said fam <laughs> wank. <Ooh. laughs> I mean, whatever gets you going, Shona. I mean, and I was fun. like, like, all together, what? I mean, Bradley Walsh is, is a very oh. handsome man. Oh, he'd be leading it. Like, he was leading that support group. Mm. Yeah. Be barrowman. <laughs> It didn't take you long, Harry, did it? He was yeah. on the tab. Yeah, he You're did upset. that. <laughs> he just won't go away. Yeah. Turn your camera off, <laughs> <sighs> well, well, yeah, just going back to first impressions. Okay. Maybe I was just in a really grumpy mood, but um, I'd had a really horrible day at work. We were watching it quite late because we had to wait for my son to get off to sleep and we had to stop and start a few times. So oh. it probably just really didn't help. Um, so while my wife was there, sat there laughing her head off at some of the, the, the funny bits, I was just like. <sighs> um, but I've had a chance to watch it again. I quite enjoyed it. Enjoyable was going to be my word. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> So now I've put everyone on a down. Let's uh, let's, keep it going. <laughs> let's bring that to the weapon. Yeah. Um, well, Matt, you go because you've been desperate to talk about it. Mm. What are your first impressions? Uh, I think it's Jodie Whittaker's best episode. Um, it's the first regeneration I've ever seen live. Like we started just after Jodie's Whittaker's came on the scene. I absolutely loved it. It's probably in my top ten favorite episodes. Like, I just thought it was absolutely class. Wow! Wow! Oh, oh that was so nice. Hey, yeah. I said it was perfect. No. It was no, really fine. good. I had a really good time with it. Really enjoyed Ooh. it. Oh, that's nice. That's brilliant. Although, yeah. When I shared my notes with Harry, I maintain the Cybermen are the most boring thing in the world. Like <laughs> they are absolute dross. <laughs> Why bother with them? Yeah. I, I did like how um, when they were converting people, though, like Doctor yeah, was, was not, it was pretty gruesome. And yeah, I think, it was, wasn't it? especially when the Cybermen is something that, is, especially modern, who get used time and time again, and they, you mm. know, you could argue yeah. like too much, maybe, like they never bring in a new thing that's as scary. And it, I mean, it's kind of hard for them to be scary again. Mm. And they do look silly in their little Time Lord get up. Like, remember when, mm. Cassie, yeah. remember we watched that episode uh, the first <laughs> time they came in? We were like, like <laughs> little capes. And you're like, oh yeah. my God. I, but, yeah. But, but yeah, you know, that was. Where they, they're, they're showing around it, and they're all just, it's just people in their chairs, like, Wah! and I was like, yeah, oh, it was Jesus. Really <laughs> 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 you're right there, Harry. I think so. <laughs> I also think like it, it's one of Chibnall's best episodes because it's nothing like a Chibnall episode. Like when it opened yeah. and you had the news going like, "Oh, there's aliens everywhere," and that like mm. rah rah Rasputin crap. That is so RTD. Like, yes, you know, yeah. Like yeah. he, he was forever RTD having RTD people moment. dance and be on the news. It was a real heart back to when Doctor Who used to yeah. be fun. Mm. Yeah, the whole thing with them around the console that was all about for me that was a flashback to uh, Journey's End Yeah, this felt better than Journey's End (laughs) somebody else had said that on Twitter when I was reading through the comments where they were like Journey's End but done properly and I'm like yeah yeah I have to or done without the high angst like yeah yeah. I know we're jumping I know I'm jumping ahead to her actual regeneration um, but it it's normally so um ah uh, like it's so drawn out and painful and like it, yeah. it became a bit of a competition to see who can yeah which episode can make you the saddest yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and Cry. And, yeah and I, I felt lo- that was in keeping with her doctor as well the way she went yeah. can i also mention the the blossomiest blossom line mm-hmm. because it really i don't know if anyone else has looked into this it really stood out to me and it seemed like this has to be a reference because you wouldn't just write a, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a personal so, story so I, where he talks about the daisiest wow. daisy. Yes, I well, I found a couple of things, right? I found yeah. that. So I figured, and I don't know when this episode came out, and it, but also I found an interview with Dennis Potter before he died, who I didn't really yeah. know anything about, but 
from what I understand, was like a big TV writer uh, yeah. throughout the decades. Yeah, and I was like, I was like so shocked. Controversial. And, yeah, I was a bit shocked and embarrassed that I didn't know who he was. And there was an interview with him by Melvin Bragg just before he died of cancer. And yeah. he talks about, you know, what it's like when you know you're going to die and you're living each day and you become quite obsessed and appreciative of the now and how if you look outside, a blossom looks like the blossomiest blossom. Yeah. And I feel like both of those references probably come from the same source, but it was hard to find what. Yeah. Um, mm. And I just, I just thought it was gorgeous, like yeah. and really understated, but but be- peaceful and and great. And thank you for yeah. letting me just say that because I, because <laughs> I had all these feelings inside. Um. Anyway, I can't remember why I I I, I went there. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was cool. nice. Um, it was outside the TARDIS for a change. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I wonder why they chose that. Is it in Cornwall that? Um, that I think that, it's Dorset. It's right. where the Curse of Fenric was filmed, isn't it? I think. Yeah. That, um, see. Yeah. Right. The thing. I don't. Think, it's not canon. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of people were getting a giggle though because the first scene with David Tennant totally looks like the opening of Broadchurch, and you're like, oh, Chibnall's no, gone full no, no, on himself there. Look like at the state of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think my word for the episode would be surprising. Mm. Just because I think, horrible as it sounds, we've all kind of come to expect the worst of this season. Um, You know, and it was like, oh, oh, hold on. I mean, and this is like one of those things, if Chibnall had written like this all the way through the series, I think we might all have been in a different position because it was, obviously the David Tennant thing wasn't a surprise for it anybody who's read anything about Doctor Who in the last like six yeah. months but you know the bits with the other doctors and the bit there was lots of bits in there that people weren't ready for and I like that I wasn't yeah. ready for Ian at all because because oh, I feel quite close to Ian right now I feel like mm. Ian's my weird friend you know yeah. and weird friend <laughs> see for, for me the like my next question was going to be, what was everyone's favourite moment? And for me, it was when they went through all the old doctors, and I was like, oh, this bit's nice. But mm. any time Paul McGann is there, I'm just like, ah, yeah. oh, swoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paul McGann is so dreamy. Yeah, like yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, they oh, need to give him that series soon, otherwise he's just going to get too old. Yeah. 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 We're, we're getting a mini series. I'm sure Artie is on it. Mm. Yeah, uh, throw him in any, yeah. anywhere. Any excuse to yeah. throw him in, do it. Yeah. And he still had his outfit on. Um, there's yeah. still there's a bit with the before the Rasputin scene when the Master's saying, um, does he say he always dresses for the occasion? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And McGann says he doesn't wear robes. Do you think that's yeah. because of yeah, that? Could be. A little could be. War Doctor reference yeah. type thing. Mm. But yeah. Mm. Oh, I wondered, yeah, I didn't really get that bit. So that's that's good to know. Ooh. Makes sense. Or it's just too cool to wear robes. I mean, either way. Yeah. Yeah. Also well, fine. <laughs> yeah. I did you? Or he just did it over that Skype thing. and he didn't have his costume. <laughs> yeah. That's what I assumed. Some sort of lockdown green yeah. screen. Yeah. Did anyone else enjoy, though, that after he said that, it he changed back into Sylvester McCoy <laughs> Not for a line, but just so he could <laughs> yeah. roll his eyes. No one yeah. rolls their eyes like Sylvester McCoy. It's He's incredible. A of human being. Have you seen his Instagram today or like his social media things? He's posted a little video today of like sort of I hope you all enjoyed it thing. But he's done that lovely old man thing of filming it from this angle like that, yeah. like up his nostrils. Wow. And he's usually got his um, ceiling fan going as well, so he looks yeah. like he's about to take off. So, yeah. <laughs> and then he's just what he's obviously come in with absolutely no idea what he's going to say and just waffles at the phone like your granddad on FaceTime, and it's just the cutest <laughs> thing. I <laughs> just love him. And his eyebrows, and oh, I just love him. <laughs> I think he's absolutely bonkers in all the best ways. Of all, oh, of all the doctors. Oh, sorry, go on. Down. We're forgetting about sorry. Harry down there in the corner. Yeah, I'm here. He doesn't look happy. This is um, one of the few chances you get to hear him talk there. about Doctor Who. Probably. Yeah, this this could be your last chance. Let's yeah. This is um, it. There were 
loads of things I couldn't stand about this episode. <laughs> of course there was. Right. <laughs> but? But there was also a moment where I genuinely shed a tear and I finished the episode and I thought it was great. Yay! Yay! We've cracked him! Oh, yeah! Yeah, I genuinely didn't think I'd say that, but I... I watched it and I thought, oh god, this is awful. This is rubbish. Wow. This was uh, 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 it's great. That's just what happened. I just sort of I turned to mush <laughs> like halfway through and that was it. Wow. This is this what is your blossomiest me... blossom. It, yeah. Exactly. It was the it was the classic doctor moment, and I'm gonna go out <laughs> on a limb. When all of the classic doctors came, mm. that could be the best moment in Doctor Who where a classic doctor comes back in a multi-doctor sort of setting i think it's the best way that it works it's just so clean like for okay. all everyone likes to have a bit of a go at chibnall i thought it was a really inventive way of bringing them back in having that whole thing with the yeah having yes. to go off the edge uh, in order to finish your regeneration at, at first i thought it was just going to be david bradley and mm. you know they yeah, maybe they do some timeless child crap and <laughs> yeah up. yeah but then when he changed, I was like, oh, all right. And then again, then again. Yeah, and, I was, yeah. and like I say, when McGann appeared, because for, for Raleigh gets lots of love, he also doesn't get enough love for me, yep. McGann. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. This is the first time he's been in the series proper. Mm. Yeah. God, it is, that, isn't yeah. it? That's yeah. mental. So we had the TV yeah. movie and then he had Night of the Doctor, which was a red button thing. Mm. This yeah. is the first time he's actually been in a proper episode wow. so, mm. it's, uh, i couldn't believe it i was just amazed and yeah. it was so it was set up so well that going forward you could use that anytime like yeah just use that mm. yeah great you want to have a cameo just chuck them in every now and again like oh god yeah. i don't know what to do yeah look into the sky there's yeah. colin baker on a rock mm. <laughs> what's everyone's <laughs> favorite cameo oh of the lot oh. if you had to pick one I know what mine is. Doctor Cameo. Which is which is your favourite Doctor Cameo? Oh Doctor Cameo. It was the moment that I genuinely misty eyed was when uh, Peter Davison was talking to Janet Fielding. Yeah, that was another question. Honestly, Peter Davison is (laughs) fucking brilliant. Mm. He's such a great actor. I couldn't believe Janet was really good. Yeah. Yeah. And you think she probably hasn't done like T V acting for so long. I know she's done the old big finish and stuff, but that whole scene and the bit where she says, oh, you, you know what I'm thinking when it comes to the Cybermen, and he says, Adric, and then the yeah. look on her face just completely sells that but, to me. Yeah. But it, it would have been so easy for them to like go, whoa, hi, Doctor, welcome back. Yeah, but the yeah, fact that yeah. everyone was really pissed off mm-hmm. made it yeah. so much yeah. better. It was so yeah. intense. Of moments that you like that... shed a tear, like you said, Harry. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. like, Adric and Braveheart got me. Did any? Did mm. that get anyone, or did anyone have another moment like that? I was already long fucking gone by then. <laughs> <laughs> and now on BBC One, <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and she's but even even as someone that doesn't really have those references, mm. the and a lot of people that watched it won't have as well. Mm, it yeah. was it was really sold mm. by the actors that you you know enough to get how moving it is like and I kind of I don't know how they even managed that like that's an incredible feat to make yeah. that accessible to everyone watching yeah. it. I couldn't believe it because like that never that never happens with Doctor Who with mm. me like mm. I never sort of get that sort of uh, thing where but I could I could feel it coming as soon as I saw them. When they were all yeah. like sat on the rock, I thought mm-hmm. we're going to see these again. Like we're going to come yeah, back yeah. to them, sort of thing. And then when when Peter like appeared and well, he said something like, "You know that I never forget you" or whatever it is, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh God, no! Don't <laughs> let this happen." <laughs> see, oh. even the really cheesy bit. Like I've I've only seen a couple of stories from each past Ooh. Doctor, but seeing Ace get the jacket get the baseball bat, mm. and mm. go smack some Daleks. I was like, here yeah. we fucking go. This is mm. it. Just blowing my, shit up. It was class. My neighbors must have hated us, because it was just like a complete... Because I, like, I was in the house with two other folk who also have kind of unwittingly been lodged into this as well. 
and we were all shouting at the telly at one point it was just it was ridiculous but it's been a long time since i felt that sort of attached to the show you know because for a while it's just sort of been drifting so it was lovely to get that sucked into it again and feel that attached to it and go okay we're back this is my show again um you see again for a wee while it's just felt a little bit flat and there's not been those moments for me but um yeah i mean basically as soon as a said professor i was away and that was me yeah. for the rest of eternity as soon as she said it, i was like you should take the thing and then that that was just it but i i think i think the struck gold if going forward if unit is made of old companions just yeah. chuck them in all the time yeah. like we, we yeah. don't need fucking lee evans once a year doing a christmas special <laughs> But if you bring someone back, like yeah. how good an idea is that? That that's yeah. a spin-off series right there. Yeah, mm. I thought it was a really nice way to bring them back as well. Uh, I, oh, yeah, I couldn't thing, believe it. Like when yeah. that in that sort of round circle at the end. Yeah, because I think we knew Katie Manning was going to be in it because I think she'd sort of. I didn't. I had no well, idea. I actually hadn't got that. Oh, either. I I'm sure I saw something on Twitter. Like somebody had taken a photo somewhere or she'd said oh, i think somebody might have asked her sort of are you going to be in the 60th and she just sort of put a mm. gif of like somebody going like that it's right. like all right okay mm. and then right. uh, uh, ian no idea because yeah. like, no i idea. have never yeah. thought he's so old oh. he's yeah. nearly 100 yeah. he's 97 isn't yeah he? that's what got me he's 97 mm. and he had a fucking um, line like yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a there's like a petition isn't it well not a petition like they've applied for like a guinness world record thing haven't they for like it's the mm-hmm. longest gap between yeah. an actor last Here, appearing in a series. yeah it's brilliant yeah. Mm. oh oh no i, I wasn't ready for it. so it, it's only While we're on the circle, oh sorry go on no, sorry. I'm, I think I'm on a bit of a delay here. I'm just interrupting everybody. While we're on the circle at the end, the empty chair yeah. Theories. There was an empty chair. Because it's driving me mad. Who wouldn't show? There was an empty So so well in terms of in is it Ryan? the drama, um somebody suggested it was for Sarah Jane. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah. But I think with in, in reality, I have heard, I don't know if this is correct, but I've heard that Annika Wills was meant to be in it. Oh. And then she had to pull out quite late on because she couldn't attend. <laughs> It looks like in know. one of the shots, there's like an iPad on the chair. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't yeah. know if they were going to make a thing. It's like somebody's being like, Skyping you know, in. calling in. in from 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Staring at the Because I mentioned Ryan's off somewhere. So maybe it was yeah. Ryan who's going to be calling I in. Suppose, yeah. I suppose it's nice that it could be anybody. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It, um, I'm trying to think how many companions are on Earth. Obviously, the greatest, one of the greatest companions of all time, Perry is off with brian blessed like yeah who else is sort of because i just like jumping back with all the releases of the box sets Mm. i assumed that everybody that had been in one of those sort of cut scenes was going to be involved somehow right this sort of thing at the back of my head i was like right Mm -hmm. it's a sort of thing can they still sort of act can they still pull it off yeah okay they're going to be in it so i was like right we get mel because she did the thing and i was like right okay that's fine but then i thought well no, because Louise Jameson's been in it and she wouldn't be on Earth. Mm, yeah. So it was like, oh, right, okay, maybe not then. But then, obviously, some of those did, but some of them didn't. Mm. Yeah. My, I don't w- know my how- wife was wondering, like, she says, well, why, where's all Matt Smith's companions? I was like, well, Amy and Rory, dead. Clara, yeah. yes. dead. River, yes. dead. Yes. Dead. I was like, where's Rose? <laughs> Gone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Martha? We didn't see a Martha. No, oh, no, no, I like Martha. No. Oh, well, that's right then. <laughs> was she working for Unit last time we saw her? Yeah. She was off with Mickey. Yeah. Yeah, and she, yeah well, she was doing parallel work with yeah. Mickey for a while. Uh... Mm. <coughs> yeah, because there isn't anybody else, is there really? I don't think. Well, mm. obviously Barbara, but. Captain Jack. Yeah, well, maybe that's who it will be. Barman's chair. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <I'm back. laughs> 
Hey, it's me, I'm that, would, <laughs> that would make sense on the iPad. Yeah. I think I said this in the group chat that right at the time that Doctor Who was going live, he decided oh, yeah. he was going to go live on Instagram and promote his new album. I was like, fucking shade. Imagine he's standing behind one of the old companions and then you see something on their shoulder and it's Poor there. old Ian. <laughs> Right, I think it's nearly time for round two. Oh, yeah. Open up the time space visualizer. Oh, right. Come on. Um, he's about no sweets. Uh, so, we're going clockwise again. Mark. Take a grid okay. reference. A to I, one to six. And nothing in the I'm going to say I five. I five. That will reveal that one of the five missing artifacts. So we'll go over the artifact screen and release I5. You found the ruby stone. Ooh. Good God. You, you just can't see it, so I'm going to put a picture of this in the group chat. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll go back to the map. So, Matt, your turn. I'll go H4. Damn it. H4. You found a pumpkin. These aren't doing very well here. No, that's two in a row for me. Oh, sorry, very Rob. Cool, <laughs> I know we're a disappointment to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's loads of people that can't wait to be part of the after show. Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Sonia seems to have had enough and gone. So sorry, Sonia. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sonia. Oh. It's fair enough. I mean, you can't blame it, can you? Yeah. I think we lost you there. Sorry, I was on mute. I forgot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe that's one of the reasons Sonia left. Uh, F5, please. F? F? Yeah, F5. Okay. Uh, F for the, the 14. F5 is you. You can't do that. Oh. You're, oh, you're in F5. I'm not looking at the thing. Uh, okay. Uh, F3? One, F1, Does that take care of it? One or six. F6, please. Okay. You found a candy. A sweet. I don't know why I said candy. Ooh. I can't. Hi, John. That's sweet. Well done. All right. So, Was that, did, you, did, uh, did Shona, did you just say, oh, sweet? Yeah. Like as a sort of, yeah. as a witty yeah. thought. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like the sweets that... I've just won. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Well, I, couldn't, I couldn't go, oh, candy. So I <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Carolyn next. Oh, okay. Um... Go on, Cassie. Find one of those missing episodes. G1, please. G1. It's a oh. pumpkin. Oh, oh. Get them out of the way. Yeah, that'll do. Harold? Uh, can I pick uh, B6, please? Can do. <laughs> you found a candy? Ooh. Yes. Sweet. Yes. Sweet. So, um, yeah, score roundup. Shona, Kazi and Harry, one each. Yay! Ooh, ooh. And we've nearly completed the uh, the artifact. So, what time is it? Oh, it's, uh, do, you want, do you want another round? Or should we... Uh, anything else you want to talk about? I want to hear what people thought about the master. Mm. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, I think he kind of stole the show a little. Yeah. Um, I prefer his quieter moments. He's... At some points, he's a much more sort of still and measured master, and that's what I really like. Whereas he, at times he can be very, very hyper and very, you know, look at me, I'm crazy. Um, I'm a crazy master. Yeah, yeah. That gets a bit wearing after a while, but he was really good in this. I, I was impressed. It, it felt to me it was the first time the modern master has been the classic master. He was yeah. doing a lot of his old tricks that mm-hmm. he hasn't done in modern day. Mm. That whole thing with him being um, Rasputin, 
I, I just love the idea because obviously Rasputin was famous for having this uh, overwhelming charisma that he could just get people to do whatever he wanted. And obviously the master mm-hmm. has got previous for, you know, being able to mesmerize people and that whole, I am the master and you will obey me. I just thought that married together so well. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was just purely for the, them to be able to do the uh, the Boney M track. I don't know, but possibly. Where's that shoe horn? That was, that was <laughs> <laughs> Again, it, it was so Russell T Davis because I instantly just thought, oh right, we're having another mm. Masters got a pop culture Down song getting thrown in here, yeah, and then it was like, oh yeah. wait, there's a different writer. But mm-hmm. I don't know if that was. I mean, that must have been intentional. I reckon. Mm. What did you all think of the glance between the Dalek and the Spider-Man? <laughs> oh my god, favourite bit of the episode. Eye roll. <laughs> oh, like, they, don't, they don't have eyebrows, but they raised their eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. I love a bit of Dalek's ass. I think I was still in a bit of a grump the first time round, so I was just like, ah. But yeah, second time. <laughs> Stop trying to make me laugh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, yeah. What did we think about Little Traitor Dalek? Oh, and his little sad little voice. Mm. His sad voice. It's like, I am the traitor Dalek. (laughs) So was he being sincere, trying to betray them? Yeah. But they double-crossed him. Well, it sounded like it, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but they'd used him. They knew he was going to do that. Yeah, they said they had allowed it, so they'd obviously just sat Mm. on it and watched it play out for a little bit, but bless him. Mm. So it was all part of the Master's Dalek plan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've I think I've, I've got to admit, I've got to admit, I think the master was my least favorite bit of the episode. I know it's a, he's a huge chunk of the, the he's the whole story basically. So it's like, well, mm. how can you not like that? How, and then think it's great. I just can't. I can't watch him. I cannot watch him. And I think, I think Luke, Luke used to be the same. Like whenever we've seen him before, Luke just was like, "I can't be doing with this. Like it's really annoying." And I don't even think it's not that he annoys me. It's well, it, must, it probably it must be, but I don't sit there thinking, "God, I just I can't stand you. You do me head in." I just I can't watch him because I just don't know what's going on. Mm. Like it's too, it's so big. It's like it's proper theatre. Like we need to see at the back that you're mad. Okay. It's like, yeah. But he mixed it up a bit. So it wasn't, I mean, 90 minutes of him being full on the whole time, I think, would have completely oh, driven yeah, me crazy. Would have been but... through the screen. What were yeah, everyone's yeah. thoughts when he regenerated? Did you think that's the end of Jody? I was very confused for a bit because I was like, mm. what does this really mean? Like, mm. does this, it just took me a while to realize what are they actually saying has happened? I was like, have they mm. swapped? bodies or like does that what does he what does he get or is he just is I mean, this just... is another callback to the old series because there there are multiple stories where he's desperate to get the doctor's remaining regenerations because he's yeah. completely burned through his he, he tries to do it when well. he's thingy saxon doesn't he that's yeah. why he's mm-hmm. got him in a cage mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah and in the tv movie there were swapping faces as well yeah yeah and in the old show yeah, as well, there's two or three stories I can think of mm. where, yeah. So I, I'm trying to, I'm just going to sort of generalise this slightly. And I, it's, I'm going to have to say this in a sort of way that makes it sound as if like I'm just a, a horrible person. Well, not really. But if you, if, if you had a sort of a list of everything that happened in the story and you took out all of the bits that Mark described so lovingly as fan wank, how what is the story like how and, much of a plot how, is there it doesn't really service Jodie's era much because the things you want wrapped up is well what i say want but things you expect wrapped up are like the timeless child stuff um the ominous entity that is time at the end of flux yeah and probably a few other things like uh thasmin mm-hmm. i'd imagine that like Obviously, Russell would have spoken to Mr. Chibby Chibbers. Yeah. And probably Chibnall, uh, Russell, well, Chibnall would have said, What do you want? Or what do you want me to get rid of? What's setting up? Yeah. Because get rid of everything. Like, yeah. And the timeless child is 
David Tennant will return in 2023. It's like, oh, God. Like, you wouldn't want to be left with that. But Do you think I'm we'll not... just not talk about that ever again? I hope so. Uh, I mean, there's been so many things in the past where it's it's been a, like a major plot point and then it's just completely ditched. Like, the whole thing with him being half human in the TV movie, that's not really followed up in any great yeah. way. Yeah. And, that, um, like, and no one minds in retrospect. Yeah. Do you not think mm. this episode, though, it as well as sort of going at 100 miles an hour, it was also well paced. So you kind of forget stuff that doesn't matter. We haven't even mentioned that Vinda was in this episode because it just Definitely. doesn't matter. Mm. Like that big space octopus that was a little girl and also energy doesn't yes, matter. My next you just was, keep going through that to hit the high points and then it's like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cybermen or something for 10 minutes, then it's bam, here's something else that blows your mind. My my next question was going to be the sort of there was a couple of bits in it I don't know if anybody else found but the first ten minutes it was sort of superfluous to the rest of the episode mm. because it was like yeah big opening train child child isn't actually a child all right okay and then Dan's fucked mm. off and then we just don't see him again until the last like minute you were Dan like, fucked off I thought there was going to be like Quite something like that on Earth that Dan had to deal with he just was like I'm out fuck this I mean no time to double that a bit. You've got... Don't even get his resolution because he's like, I've got to go home, I've got a date. Mm. No happy ending. You yeah. don't see it. You didn't even find out how his date went. Mm. Yeah. So in the previous one, it finished up with them having a <coughs> chat where they realise actually they do want to perhaps carry on seeing each other. And he's obviously still with the Doctor. And you get to that point where his space helmet gets shot through and after they Ow. got out of that, he's sat there stood there looking at it and you can kind of see from the reaction on his face he's like yeah i'm not I sure i should be doing this anymore mm. so you can kind of see it but it's i, I, I think it was yeah, that that out with him, but minutes. it was just a mm. funny opening to just instantly write out a character and then like yeah. right and then and you're like i could see them doing it because they've done it multiple times through the series mm. of like and people that you know, well. like, Martha feels the need to move on and all that kind of thing but it was very sort of instantly like when we've written him off because we don't actually have a plot line for him at all this episode mm. and then he's sort of just in a park at the end with graham i wonder yeah. how um vinda's i wonder if it is now his currently born child <laughs> currently alive child is it be? i wonder how it is and where's well, just that slight wreck yeah, no. she just went, I mean, he spent like all right, 20 bye. years looking for bell and now he's yeah. off on his own again yeah yeah okay. i did like that i think vinda did serve a good purpose though to show, yeah. to, to show basically, like, because what ultimately saves the Doctor is that she's surrounded by friends, that she makes, yeah. ta- that, that love will destroy hates if you mm-hmm. if you distill it down. And the fact that she'd made this connection and he was just willing to help her, like, I, I, think, it, I think it kind of achieved its, its end, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And he well, was probably just a useful, I don't know, a useful person that we've just not, met that long ago to have come in mm-hmm. but it's even when the fugitive doctor turns up you like you could have done that totally without the fugitive doctor but it's like tick the box scary yeah put her in we need more joe martin i'll never see oh no I'm, more joe I'm always martin, happy you know. to see her rock in the room yeah with her little glasses looking yeah, yeah yeah and it wasn't even her who are you mate yeah. but um Said she might be back. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know when that happened. You know when Joe Martin came in, stands, and the Cybermen all shoot each other. Where are the Daleks? Where yeah. do they go? Mm. I don't know. Because yeah, it's like <laughs> Dalek, <laughs> Cyberman, yeah. Dalek, Cyberman, Dalek, Cyberman. Cybermen all shoot each other. No Daleks. Yeah. Tea break. Yeah. Dalek. Dalek. yeah. The Daleks I'll, ultimately I'll... care about the pres- the the preserving their own race. Mm-hmm. So yeah. maybe they were like. They probably snuck out whilst the, the Rasputin was playing. Yeah, yeah. they were just yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, sign up for this. Excuse me. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to address it. And again, correct me if I'm being stupid, but the biggest plot hole for me, why was Graham in a cave? How? How? Why? Well, he's Where, off saving he... the world. He had his psychic payback. Yeah. But, yeah. But, him, but, him and Ryan. Tenuous, but they, they did give him and Ryan. He bailed out. Yeah. He didn't want to be there. It is out of yeah, camp both character. Paper, didn't they, when they left? Mm. I agree. Tenuous, yeah. I'll admit. 
I think you can explain it. Like technically you can, but it is out of character. So, yeah. but then I was too like smitten with him and Ace getting on that. I was like, ah, fine, okay. like, let yeah. him go in the volcano. Like, let him have fun. But yeah, like he I, I just. I think Mark's left. I get it. Oh, Mark, Mark's so furious no. with him. Well, it is actually, furious it's break me. time in a few minutes if he's want to break. Oh. We have our annual COVID oh. hour, hour break. Do you know what? I didn't really have time to eat my tea, so I'll take that break. Yeah. Are we, we having anything nice? I'm having, um, it's, it's a little something I call... Uh, Pasta. Stuff, <laughs> <laughs> odd things that were left in my cupboard. <laughs> It's like a sort of dal, I think. What are you just going to do on your break? Uh, I need another drink. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we prank I Luke? I Can I prank Luke? Sure. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just ring him. Maybe I'll, I'll ring him after the break. Yeah, do it. Oh, brilliant. He's that upset that Adam and Easter wasn't in this episode. <laughs> yeah, that is. I, I think it would have... Imp- I, I, I also loved the episode, and it's hard to think of a way to improve it, but if Carvin Easter had been in it, I would have lost my fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, but they wrote Dan off so early that you can't possibly bring back his doggo. It should have been Carvin Easter and Dan in the park. <laughs> yeah. Fuck great. There, there's your other spin off, some sort of buddy cop movie with Dan and a giant dog. Oh. Is, is Dan on the leash? Yeah. yeah we'd, oh, we'd, God. We'd, We're not going down that fan fiction hole, are we? Oh, man, oh. that's good. That, no, that's a fan wank. Yeah, proper. <laughs> Mark yeah. knows all about that. <laughs> well, I think it's time for us to go on one break. Mark's going to get oh, back and we're knows. just going to be gone. I've got some fanfic to write. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh well. Right. We'll see you then. It's Thank half past you. everyone. Bye. Oh,
Hello. Hi, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you if you're still sticking with us through all this. Uh, we're, we're only down to three people in the chat, so wow. I guess that's me and two of you. One guys. of them is Matt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one. I'm here as well. Oh. Uh, it just says three people in the chat. Let's it's an open this. door policy, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. What are the what are the viewing figures, eh? Yeah, just wait till next year when we're on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> the only way is up, baby. How are we feeling about it? Brilliant. I'm in. Harry's widow twenty. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Of course. I'll do anything. <laughs> I think I think you should yeah. ring Luke, ring Luke and get a number. <laughs> oh shit! Yes. <laughs> Let's see the grid then, Robert. Prank dial. <laughs> okay. I am gonna go for. Hmm. H3. Classic. Yep. Yes, come on. Wow. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, fucking hell, Liam. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yes. Does he not like us or something? <laughs> Come on, Liam. I've only ever been kind to you, my friend. Oh, I, I'm just secretly uh, smoking. You've got this question. You've taken a bullet for me. <laughs> yeah, Mark. <I'm... laughs> Unbelievable. I love the missing episodes, but I'm not. I mean, even I'm not that much heard. Uh Oh, oh, friend. Right. The best bit. Yeah, I, you can't just throw that out there and expect us to just move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep playing it. Can you give us any clues? Because that is that's an absolute answer of a stinker. question. Mm. Mm. Given that most of us have struggled to get one, we're not really, you know, <laughs> not feeling very daring. <laughs> I've given that up for no one. Uh. Yes, I have a candy. Yeah. 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 Do your best South African accent. Prawns? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Donate twenty pounds to the Cloister Bell yeah. <laughs> I know your game, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, are you just making this up as you go along? I'd spin a real one, mate. I'm sound very one. dubious now. <laughs> yeah. Is it? I can't. <laughs> that's what I say. That's, that's so easy. Okay, when does the timer start? 
it's already started. Good luck. Are we allowed to put him off? Just say something horrible, Rob. <laughs> I think incest is actually quite funny. Whoa. I thought that would make him go. Now he's not the same, though, babe. Like, now he's yeah. not the same. I Just thought that would make him go. Click that audio, Rob. That's your intro. I was just trying to be shocking. <laughs> oh, no, you can't do it. Uh, it's going so well until Shona mentioned incest, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. oh, Harry. My work here is done. <laughs> I mean, I've I've still not answered this question. I do I get any kind of clue whatsoever? Well, he's surely he's he giving you an answer. the answer. <laughs> Oh, God. It seems like a lifetime ago. It was the last two um, stories to be white. I'm not asking you to give me the answer, but just, you know, give me something to go on at least. I think I know one of them. Is it the last ones to be wiped? Yeah. Yeah. No idea. It's a lot later than I'm guessing they're probably well. colour ones, because they probably wiped the black and white ones first. Because they had less value showing them again right gone and could it be invasion of the dinosaurs oh wow i'm amazing no <laughs> oh uh planet of the daleks death of the daleks wow yeah. Hello. I'll go. I won, please. I won it all. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Give me the dare. I don't even care what it is. Give me the dare. He's already in. <laughs> Right, I'm going to act like a curious chicken. Ooh. What? A ponderous chicken. <laughs> that's a, oh, wow. That's more Look of at a him peacock. work. That's incredible. That's amazing. So, I'm hoping you're taking some notes here. Oh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, uh, yeah. I, this next is time. the key to my next job. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, yeah. Uh, you want to go film method when you're... Uh, I can't believe he's your... trained. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Matt's going to start his own uh, drama workshop very soon. You can yeah. lay eggs on command. Did yeah. you like that bit? Grief of a sailor, that. Yeah. yeah. I think I finally know why the chicken crossed the road, based on that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you reminded me of my son's favourite joke. It's a two-parter. Go for it. Why did, why did the chicken cross the road? Get to get to the, to the idiot's house. Mm -hmm. And the second part is knock-knock. Who's there? The chicken. <laughs> that is good. That is yeah, good. It's actually yeah. genuinely good though. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like I'm, gonna tell, I'm gonna tell it to someone tomorrow. I mean, you didn't create it, but it's, yeah, it's good. Worth sharing. It's good, it's good. Oh, okay. Um, it's time. Why does it sound like I'm about to be led to the chair? <laughs> it's time, Shona. Yeah. Um, no, what green man? Can I have I four? Yeah. No. Does that mean I lost my candy? Oh, right. I, suppose it could be. I knew what might happen when I got into Hey, everyone. Sonia's back. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Hello. And Alex has just gone off to have a drink. So we'll Bye, back, Alex. I'm sure. Oh, come back. 
Um, can I have E1, please? Oh, oh. Uh. Why do I feel like you're mocking us sometimes, Rob? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Uh, can I have B2 or 2B? Sorry, it's, uh, it, it was that acting masterclass I just saw then that was mm. just sort of... It was just so inspiring. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was just it did something to me. Oh, 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 go for it. Yeah, who cares? Um, didn't you Mark, just hear a funny it. joke? I Mark, did hear it. Really. Knock, knock. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you uh, how do you find Will Smith in the snow? <clears throat> Follow the fresh prince. Uh, brilliant officially funny then is it (laughs) (laughs) oh brilliant here we go i'm gonna turn the lights off I Okay <laughs> I really love James Bond Do you know what, that acting masterclass has gone so far it's, it's Like we get on so much man. mileage out of it Why I man Look <laughs> at that Away the lad <laughs> Away <laughs> That's South African <laughs> Bronze? What are you showing us, Rob? It's so blurry. Oh, it's very blurry. It's even more blurry. <laughs> Matt, I've got to ask, is your background green screen? It just looks a bit... It is, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. It's good, though. It looks, it looks like it's really not. Good. Yeah. Yeah, like... Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, or I can be here, yeah. Wow. Oh, whatever this is. Lovely. And then there's that one, but then there's also the MS Paint version of that one. (laughs) (laughs) Lovely. I have it. I have it. I've got... (laughs) I have it. I have a name. Oh. I'm going to pretend to be Liam now. Whoa, I just got an email to say I got a right gadget. <laughs> I'm I've got a name, but how do I get an address, Rob, to say that? <laughs> You have to write. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think this person has. No, I've not got one for my person either. I don't think. Neither have I. Hold on. If I mark the gift as purchased, will it give me an address? While you're working all that out, uh, Krusty Krusty oh, no, no, is just so... saying oh, no. that Rob is muted. I can hear him. Uh, it sounds like he's muted on YouTube. I'm back. Okay. Well, I can hear you. Since, since the break, I've been muted. Oh. Oh. I don't think they've missed much. <laughs> it was mostly you going, ah, oh, well, you got a pumpkin yeah. again. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Thank you, Chris, for your... Yeah. So just to summarise what everyone missed, Mark had to guess which uh, 
were the last yeah. two Which were classic, the last two classic Mr. Stories to be wiped. wiped. Yeah. Right. yeah. And Matt had to pretend to be a chicken. <laughs> Which was Obviously. exceptional, by the way. Hey, yeah, it was... <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say it was pretending. It was more like embodying... It really was, yeah. Soul. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, well, something had to go wrong at some point. Is everyone just sat quiet trying to figure yeah, out how Yeah, Harry just, you know, shut down. Hmm. I'm just trying to work out how to get an address. <laughs> yeah, same, my person hasn't got one. Hmm. Do, do we just all put our addresses in our WhatsApp group? <laughs> How could that possibly? Just put them in the chat on the, on YouTube. It's fine. Yeah, I'll chuck it in here. <laughs> I'll just hold it up on screen. <laughs> now, while we're on the gifts, have we? Are we sticking to like a Doctor Who themed thing, or are we going for anything we like? I pray to God that Luke is not taking part. Cause I know what he goes straight for. Oh yeah. What's that? <laughs> would it be? Um, oh my I'm not, god! I'm not sure we're allowed to talk about it on YouTube. Oh, I wanted to mention. Oh, I wanted to mention his um, Daleks of what? What? Which one is it? Daleks of Manhattan. His, his, his oh, mask. Oh, yeah. his his sausage, sausage mask. mask. That yeah. was the maddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, how, how is how is his secret Santa person topping that? To be honest. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I, or do I? <laughs> okay, that wasn't a fish to find out. I was just, okay. <laughs> okay, my address is in the live chat. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we put our addresses in somewhere at a later date that isn't this? <laughs> rather, yeah. This, this yeah. hourglass that's trickling away while we're on yeah. this. We've got yeah. months to figure it out. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to talk about Power of the Doctor anymore? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think there's probably more. Probably. Yeah. I think so. Any favourite moments? Um, this isn't so much of a favourite moment, but just like a, a realisation, yeah. which was, um, I think it was while they were doing all the stuff in UNIT, so there was Kate and there was... Ace and Tegan, and there's the Doctor, and there was Yaz, and it was just dead exciting for me anyway. That it was just, just fucking loads of women, loads of them, yeah. like not not one or two, like just like all of them, and different ages, and and you know, and different backgrounds, and it was just like, just like pretty cool, and um, and that's been I think like a fairly consistent thing with Jodie Whittaker's run as well, it, like mm -hmm. trying to like put a spotlight on. Uh, female historical characters as well and yeah, yeah it was just like kind of cool I was like, oh, hmm. this is neat was anybody else genuinely worried that Kate was a goner oh yeah I was so scared proper thought I was like <laughs> no <laughs> not sent her the same way as her dad like, I, I was like not go. Kate not Kate no oh okay, I love I Kate yeah it then. can I just oh, point the out the indignity I... of uh, the master saying your dad was an idiot as well I was I <laughs> thought our dad was going to show up and they'd be cyber together oh. That was outrageous. Yeah, and when mm. well, but no I really, I I meant to mention when we were talking about the master earlier, and and uh, yeah, I know uh, Mark and how you're both saying like the master is bit, and I agree. I thought he was more powerful when he's quiet and dangerously mm. quiet and horrible yeah. and intense. And that whole section where they were leading him away and Ace and Tegan were there, and he was just su such a bastard. Mm. Like yeah, 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 and yeah, really, really good stuff. Like every time I was like. Oh, oh my, oh my God! Did Did you gather what the whole thing was with Auntie Vanessa when he said, "Oh, how's your Auntie Vanessa?" I mean, I I put it together. I guess he made her made her small. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> I've just purchased well, my secret Santa. Oh, already? It was that easy. Done. <laughs> wow. It's on its way. <laughs> Where did you order from? That's the worrying thing. Pound zone. Ooh, that would be telling. <clears throat> mm. I think it's a good one. Oh, oh, actually, we didn't discuss. Uh, oh, is it Doctor Who related or not Doctor Who related? It's a bit late now. But it is definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it is might be having two presents. Yeah. <laughs> See how we go. <laughs> a pallet of oh, sweet. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. 
Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Where were we? Uh, favourite moments? Master things and favourite moments. Mm. I mean, I think for me, I just loved that both Ace and Tegan got like a little moment to <laughs> like make peace with their doctor because they both got a bit of a sort of yeah. shitty ending to their time with him and they, they, mm. they were sort of in the being ditched club kind of thing yeah um and a bit like what they touched on with sarah jane when they did the school reunion episodes as well of like you left me um mm. but the fact that they both got a little moment to sort of settle that with their own doctor was just yeah yeah i mean fan wank but i love it <laughs> I'm here i thought it was it. also i thought it was it. nice that they um sorry i'm talking all over you now i thought it was nice that they actually both had something quite meaty to do as well in the story they weren't yeah. just there to be oh hi hello i'm the one from the mm -hmm. past and then turn up again at the end they actually yeah, were it wasn't integral a to quite a lot of the story yeah there, there was a bit where ace was talk. it was when she was talking to mccoy and it was mccoy said oh it's not just good it's and i was like he's gonna say wicked he's gonna say wicked and he went ace i was like <laughs> 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 did, well, did anyone Mr. else get the um, the the vibes there between Ace and um, Graham? Mm. Yeah, it was hot in that volcano. Yeah, they're, they're already they're already uh, talking about them as obviously you put the two names together, Grace. <laughs> like a little oh. callback to. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that. Oh, Mark, look at that mm. victory sip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Crap. I wasn't talking about it like I came up with that. I didn't yeah. Yeah. Jesus, I didn't even think about that. That's oh, one other thing that I've heard, if I'm going to be using other people's ideas and passing them off as my own, uh, I was listening to Around the Console and uh, Sucky was saying how, I don't know if this was his idea or he'd heard it somewhere else, uh, his theory or the theory he came out with about the reason why Tennant is the next Doctor rather than Shooty is when you've got the whole thing with how they have to plunge off the the edge uh, to complete their regeneration, his final words, I don't want to go, is that the reason why he was the one to come back after yeah. they did the reversal thing? Has that caused him yeah. to come back? Yeah, I think he's going to die and he's going to yeah. be like, yeah, I just want to go. Yeah. <laughs> but they are, they're already, no, the only thing is they're already referring to him as the 14th Doctor and Shooty yeah. as the 15th, so I don't know. So, yeah, um, I mean, our, I, I mean, RTD said that, didn't he? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that surprised yeah. me as well. So Tennant mm -hmm. Tenant was the 10th, but he was actually the 11th and 12th. And the 14th. <laughs> no, he was the 14th, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he was the meta. <laughs> I mean, that's, the number of Scottish Doctors now has gone through the roof. I mean, that is, yeah. you know. We're slowly yeah. taking over. Yeah. Yeah. And he was yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah. sure where they're going with that. And, and a Scottish, one Scottish master as well. So. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> Let that sink in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all just noise. take a moment. I thought yeah, the... Really um, by this one. I thought um, the, the ending of her and Yasmin, I'm not sure they could have really done it any other way. Um, it, it, to me, it felt like the whole thing with their relationship. I think it's really important that um, LGBTQ people should be able to see themselves represented on, on the screen. But I don't I feel a bit like it was kind of a bit rushed towards the end of their run and it didn't really feel like it. it and that I don't know. Maybe I'm not seeing it, but I, if the way obviously because she has to regenerate, you, there's never going to be a happy ending. So I don't know if anyone's really going to be that happy with the the final result, which is a bit no. sad. I think it might face. I think it might face some accusations of queer baiting, um, and I could see why maybe people might take it that way. But mm -hmm. on the flip side, I. I didn't think it seemed, I think it would have seemed also out of character if there'd been a big romantic moment at the end as well. Yeah. So I think it's it's just like you, what you said, I guess it's a shame that they only really came it's, to that yeah. decision late on and there wasn't enough mm. time to really get there. Sorry, Matt, I know you were going to say something. 
No, I, I, I just felt. I, th- I think they did it really, w- really well at the end, where obviously they were never going to say "I love you," but you know, I love these adventures, I love this, but I've got to do this bit on my own, and just mm. you know, I, I think that's more meaningful than if they did have a happily ever after, you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think there's recently there seems to have been this thing where like every doctor as we go on has to have a love interest all the time and it's sort of yeah. coming away from mm. we never used to have that. It doesn't need to always be a thing. Yeah. And that you can it was quite a nice thing that like you can still do big emotions without the doctor getting off with historical yeah. characters and getting off mm. you know, it's mm. it's not necessarily there and yet you can still do like really beautiful, kind of meaningful conversations. You can still have yeah. you know, be it close friendships or be it a sort of LGBTQ kind of hinting Mm. towards it and it's one of these shows that like it's not as if the whole Yaz and the Doctor thing's been the first ever time that they've touched upon queer couples and you know because there's been quite a bit of representation compared to maybe some other shows Mm -hmm. all the way through it again especially thanks to to Russell T Davis because I know he really likes Mm. to bring that to the forefront as well so there's enough in there without having to have the Doctor having a love interest every single series yeah yeah maybe i'm a bit old-fashioned i quite i mean if you look at like fourth doctor and sarah they were so close mm. and then that kind mm-hmm. of pays off when she comes back with david tennant and there's that you know uh-huh. he's obviously really hurt that she just kind of got dumped yeah um, yeah i think that sarah jane's departure as well is heartbreaking mm, they act yeah. that so well that final yeah, scene yeah. In, the, in the it's the hand of fear isn't it i think that yeah last. yeah, yeah. And it, what I think he just says, "Till we meet again, Sarah," and he just can't look at her. Mm. It's yeah. brilliant. It's just so great. I but think, I think uh, that... Joe Grant for me is tops that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, because he's he's heartbroken in that party, isn't he? Like yeah. thing. And Tritons. Oh, they're all great. But like, they, I think this. <laughs> uh, I think I think they handled this one really yeah. well. I think going yeah. in. I liked cause... I liked Matt Smith in there uh, in Joe Grant when he's like. Uh, Looks like someone's cooked you. Baked you. It's so good. <laughs> I love that line. It's because it's, it, as we started watching it, we sort of said, they're not going to kiss. They're not going to do it. Mm-hmm. And I think that was sort of, I'd got, I, I was almost like 100% on that. It's just not going to happen. One, because it's just going to sort of draw, not going to draw attention to it. It's going to sort of maybe steer it away from what the story's going to be because i think the thasmin thing has always been there and rightly or wrongly whatever you think of that the love storyline thing i've never been a big fan of love in doctor who because i just don't think it's it doesn't really mean anything but the amount that they've used it with thasmin i think is great because they haven't actually sort of hit the nail on it they just sort of suggested that it's a thing Mm. and i don't think they actually even need to say it I don't think having the characters say, I love you, I love you too. I don't think it achieves it. Brigadier? I've only watched it the once, but does does Davison say it to Tegan when he's saying, I remember you all? Does he say, I love you all? Do they do it indirectly there's through that? I missed you. There's Is it, I missed you? There's an, I missed you. Hmm. Maybe that's it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Right. Which I, I, I think he says, well, again, he it's still... Yeah, I think he says something like, I'd never forget any of you. Or so, or like, yeah, because sort of... they kind of... I, I felt they sort of used that to address Yaz, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly the same speech could have been applied to Ace and McCoy, to mm. Whitaker and Yaz. So I thought that was quite clever how they'd done that. I think, I think the thing is they acted it really they acted the sort of awkward love so well mm. that you don't need to say it because you know that that's what they think like yeah what do, what do you achieve by having them say it like, yeah okay. yeah and they've got really good chemistry haven't they like yeah. Good, yeah yeah they're just yeah they're, they're so close anyway and i think just the fact that they just sat on top of the tardis eating ice cream. together eating ice cream like I don't think anything needs to be said. Yeah. It's it's obvious. Like yeah, some things some don't things need to be said. 
Yeah, I like, wonder if she's kind of come to terms that she was leaving because uh, we had that moment where Ace says, I, we used to be you. Yeah. Kind of yeah. foreshadowing that. Mm. That look on her face as well because, mm. yeah, I think she just thinks they're going to go carry on forever and it becomes very clear that that isn't always going to be the case. Mm-hmm. I, I think that the support group is such a great idea as well. Like yeah, it's, it's just, brilliant. It, uh, you know, I just, it's just great. It's mm. Yeah, and really fitting with this era as well, because this this doctor, I mean... Because we need a support group. Because we, because <laughs> we need a support group. Look around you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Uh, perhaps it was us on the laptop yeah. on the chair. <laughs> That's it. That was it. The reward from the afternoon. <laughs> Well, I was thinking about this stuff. I, I'm hesitant to say this because even though I've definitely had like a guest on my podcast that pointed out to me, he's like, Johnny Whitaker's doctor sometimes does some terrible <laughs> things and it's never addressed. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't really love it. Mm. But I'm, I remember thinking about her first episodes and how she seemed to have a bit more kind of humanity, more of an aware of a duty of care than some of her predecessors. Like I thought it was like the first time someone died in the episode she i don't know she uh, she she seemed aware like something needs to be done with this person and and she was like apologizing that everyone had to be part of it it was like i'm sorry you had to see all this and she goes to a funeral at the end and it um yeah i, I don't know it just seemed like the idea of a support group kind of fits in with this I don't I think, know. I, I, I just think it's it's such a nice idea to think that obviously once the for the for the most part once a doctor goes that companion is just left alone as if like right you're done now mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. is that is mad like it's mad to think that like you know and especially with sort of Tegan and Ace perhaps that's why they chose those two really because they were the ones that sort of had a bad end yeah. you know that. And a long time yeah. to dwell on it. Yeah, you know, like like Tegan would have had like 35, 40 years mm. of just being like, well, what the hell? Like, Yeah. And then you probably, it, it gets to the stage where you just accept that, right, they're never coming back. And then all of a sudden they come back like, what? Yeah. What? I'm guessing what? there hasn't been much like, um, in terms of like, stories with Tegan since she left. Do you reckon, Mark? Because with Ace... She's mm. she's died in the comics. Um, on audio, yeah. she's been off to Gallifrey for a while, and now mm. she's running the running that business in present day, teaming up with the yeah. class spin off in Torchwood. Um, mm. She did her own book, which yeah. where, where she met the Thirteenth Doctor and everyone, and now that's not not a thing. Yeah, um, and we've had we've, of... we've had so many of like the new adventures. Um, mm. In this kind of conclusively said that they just had a fallout at some point. Um, mm. I don't know if that. Like, and then you could see that happening because of the way that he was treating her um, towards the end of that last season. Mm. You could see that coming quite easily. So I don't, you know, I think that's well within the characters that that could happen. Um, I just thought it was great to see them both back, but particularly Tegan. Maybe it's because I'm old, and that's one of the ones I, that I remembered as a kid. But. I've got to say, you know when McCoy and Sophie uh, meet, sort of, you know, mm-hmm. eventually, yeah. what is going on there? Is McCoy's head CGI'd onto somebody else's body? Eh? Hey? Does anybody know? Out? No, well, no, I'm not trying to be, like, nasty about it, but, like... I didn't think so. There's something odd going on there. Somebody was suggesting the other day uh, on Twitter that they'd done something to his tummy to uh, reduce it, and uh, whatever it is, oh, I right, want okay. some of that. I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, that sounds good. Sign yeah. me up. Yeah, yeah. Right. On that note, it's time for round four. <laughs> <gasps> oh, the excitement! Sweets. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, it's your okay, turn. Okay, let's see the, the grid there, Robert. Yeah, it's up now. Um, Lovely. I don't know if you can see it yet. There's a bit of a delay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just coming. Take, take a shot in the dark. It's coming. Oh, there we are. I've got it. <laughs> oh, I'm well behind. Um, oh, wait, Still not here. There we go. Uh, I am going to go for A3. A3, big bit of paper. 
I was going to say. It is a pumpkin. The artist's choice. <gasps> it's, a it's a pumpkin. You don't, you don't have two, oh, can, two candies. Cobblers. Unbelievable. Oh. The cobbler died a couple of weeks ago. That's big news around here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Jeez, oh. Just like... Well, my condolences. Yeah, what can I say? Who's going to fix your shoes now, eh? Big news around me. Our local PM's the new Prime Minister. We're, oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, we're doing all right around here. Mm. Get some money in the schools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't uh, hold your breath there, Matt, because the way things are going, you'll probably be out by next week. Yeah. Me and David worked out we've been doing our podcast for exactly four Prime Ministers. Yeah. Yay. It's impressive. It's mad. <laughs> oh, Rob's I, gone to come get I'm going to go and get a drink. Don't be, uh, don't worry, Matt. You can pick your, oh. pick your space. What? Well, <laughs> I don't think I can till I know what Rob's drinking. Well, while Rob's gone to get that, I think um, Alex was keen to pick <coughs> Harry's brains about the music. He's his pick for the new composer for the next series. His hand zimmer. Oh dear. What do you think of that? Um, I mean, judging by Doctor in Distress, I mean, I think it's an absolute shoe in. Yeah, I mean, it's the obvious choice, isn't it, really? Mm. There you go. I thought he might yeah. be a bit busy with Christopher Nolan, but, you know, I don't oh. know. Him, so, what do I know? Yeah. It, uh, I did notice on the, obviously, not to give too much away, the, uh, the new logo thing. Oh. Did oh, have, can we talk about it, please? It did have Murray's theme over it. Oh, it did, right. didn't it? Yeah. It did. I thought that. Mm. Is it back? Or probably American <laughs> just up? No. no. I think it's almost think... confirmed that. I remember his um his musicians union uh page listed it as a job and then it got taken mm. away really quick. Mm. Oh right. Okay. Oh, that's some good detective work, wow. Harry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Harry's your man. Yeah, if you need to know the insides of the MU, <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. Are you on there every day, just scrolling? <laughs> What's everybody up to? Russell, if you do watch this on catch up at any point, uh, Harry is available. If you, uh, if you are looking, I'm free. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you, yeah. Russell. Keep it in Wales. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, keep it in the farm. Yeah, I see. What I see you looking up, around, Russ? Matt. Are you are you just looking around all the grid spaces? I, yeah, because I think my stream's a little bit behind and it keeps updating. And then it looks like my head's really big on screen. So I might just sit further back. Just looking around like a chicken. Like a curious chicken. Curious chicken. <laughs> okay. I want to see a curious chicken pretend hula hooping for 10 seconds while staring at the camera, not laughing. Yeah. And telling a funny joke. Well, and, and whilst I'm funny, Jim. Well, uh, Matt, there's some great dares still in play here. So come on, where are you right. going to go? I'm going to go for H2, please. H2? Oh, good choice. <laughs> See what I did there? That it's, nice joke. Ooh, it's a mystery spot. A big question mark oh. there. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. H2, okay. For th- He's all there. Yeah, yes. okay. yeah. For three points, a sundial has the fewest move, moving parts of any timepiece. Okay? But which has the most? <laughs> She's going to mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just repeat that question for me, Rob. A sundial has the fewest moving parts of any timepiece. Yeah. But which timepiece has the most moving parts? I, I don't know if this is a riddle or this is like a literal question. Um, I think it's a literal. I, it's a literal I'm going to say, I'm going to say a cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clock. How many? How many moving spa- moving things? Of course, you can see. <laughs> like, it, is this a trick question? Am I going to look like an absolute prat in a minute? It, 
It's not a trick question. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It was an hourglass. An egg timer. Uh, uh, what? Fuck's sake. Every That's individual grain of sand. Oh. Well, I hope you're happy, Rob. <laughs> you have made me look a right wanker in front of my friends. <laughs> Yeah, Alex in the chat, he'll be laughing his little socks off at me. <laughs> but Alex got it first Three minutes his screen. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want you to know I'm incandescent with rage with you right now, Robert. Robert. Yeah. Rob's <laughs> so pleased with himself. You don't want to frog that Yeah, you hide. I, 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 um, what's Rob's drink? Is it council pop? <laughs> it is. Oh, <laughs> Sounds like you're choking, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you evil man. Right, well, there's three Wait. sweets I'll never see again. What's everybody's water like around them? Hard? Soft? Medium? Scottish, mate. We're fine. Oh, oh the water. Right. Yeah, yeah, the water is delish. Yeah. Mark, do you have to use, like, three times as much washing powder? <laughs> I think I was... No, I think I'm all right. <laughs> was that in context of the water from you? Yeah. Yeah. Really uh, yeah, standard amount seems to do the trick. Because I'm sure, like, I, up, up, like down south, you just like you, you meant to use more washing powder. It says on the side of the box right. when, you, when your water's you know, heavier. You're not confusing it with Australia, where the water spins round the other way around when it goes down the pipe. You know, maybe I am. Like, when you turn yeah. your tap on, Mark, is it just largely chalk pouring out of it? Yeah, yeah, it's solid. <laughs> One I mean, slice these or days, two. These days, you're lucky if you don't get poo in there as well, because obviously, you know, well, yeah. I, I imagine that David does his washing. <laughs> you know, like um, you know the original. I bet he's got William, an angle. Yeah, you know the original Willy Wonka. Where Charlie goes to see his mum in the in the wash house. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just a, Cheer her, the washboard. He's got the mangle. Yeah. I imagine that's how David sort of. <laughs> we love uh, you, I, I don't think he's allowed to do any jobs because he'll just do them wrong. I think he gets given like. Oh, uh, exactly. Uh, he gets given like busy work. Like you go stand outside and prop the house up whilst yeah. I move. <laughs> you go and clap at the pigeons. And I'll... <laughs> There's always that guy that does a really bad job to make sure he never gets asked to do it again. Mm. I wouldn't have put David down as that person. He always comes no. across as a really stand-up guy. Uh, his, his partner's the most practical person you've ever met. And David's just a wally. <laughs> uh, that's the best word to describe him. He's oh, just can't a can't believe he's playing like that. He's not allowed to defend himself. Jesus. He sent me a message this weekend going, look, I've got childcare commitments. If we're recording pod, we need to do it early doors Sunday morning. So I got up at half six, watched an hour of Torchwood, <laughs> rang him at half seven like, I've watched it, I'm ready, let's go. And I got a message at like half ten just going, oh, sorry, I slept in. Oh, God, <laughs> six. <laughs> you bastard. That's a bloody good prank, though. <laughs> that is shocking. So, uh, Shona. Yeah. Your move. Okay. Uh, what choice have I got? A two. Yeah, go for A two. It's a candy. <gasps> well done. Yes. yes. Now, do you want to take it? Oh my God. What? <laughs> I paused for like two seconds, Rob. Just you kill it. Jesus. <laughs> Everyone's pretty. Uh, how bad? Wait, how? Can I find out what the dare is and then decide whether or not to do it, or do, I, is it no take backs? I'd love to do that, but I'm just gonna let you know. It's not fair. Um, dance, uh. dance like a cowboy for ten seconds. Oh, I can do that. Like a cowboy. How does a cowboy dance? <laughs> oh, like you just do the dance from steps. That's a piece of piss. Oh, okay, right. Like, Rob, she's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> they do workshops and that sort of stuff all the time. Yeah, I can do that. Right, why is screen record? <laughs> yeah. 
Great, we on that Madonna track as well, where they do all the line dancing. <coughs> you can't see my whole body. You might just have to imagine it. <laughs> just imagine. There you go, three streets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you all yeah, imagining my finger? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take off my headphones, so I'm going to do this in silence. All right, okay. okay. Uh, but how will I know? Ten? Will you give me a sign to tell me ten seconds or so? We all wave when yeah, ten seconds. We'll all wave. You won't what? fuck with me and leave me for. Yeah. Ten minutes. Well, I have an idea. John, John, <laughs> you, you know how to count to ten, honey. You you can count to ten. If only you had an egg timer. I guess. Yeah. Or a cuckoo clock. Something. Oh, he's not going to let that one go. I always, I think <laughs> the sundial's better. It's got less moving parts. <laughs> <laughs> sundial for this. Okay, you ready? You have to wait a good twelve hours until you get to use it. <laughs> you ready? We're ready. Okay. Here we go. This is cowboy dancing, yeah? Okay. Wait. There we go. <sighs> okay. That is cowboy dancing. Two, yeah. Three. <laughs> She's oh. shown us going to absolutely stub oh, a toe right on something in a minute and just be in agony. Seven, eight. Oh, that was nine and a half. Nine. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Sorry, Sharon. Ten seconds, anyone's ever. <laughs> well done. You're back up to two sweets. Oh, Good yes. sport. Well done. Oh, totally worth it. What a pro. Yeah. Look at that. Well, we're going to have to get a juggle on. It's like 20 past 11, and we've got loads to get through. Come on, Rob. What sort of a ship are you running okay. Jesus. Come on, Absolute Cassie. Absolute ship show. Back. No ship show, look. <laughs> All right, so back to me. I don't have a grid, so I'm just going to start picking things that I think were empty. Um, Do it, just call, Cassie. Call out letters. <laughs> and numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just exit. Um, B... Oh, well, there we go. B1. I'll have B1, please. B1. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a lost story. Oh, that's oh. a good thing. It's a good one. Well, no, it's not when you're as thick as I am. <sighs> the answer is an hourglass. Whatever the question <laughs> yeah. is. <coughs> is it a sundial? You might know this one. So, I don't... for three candies... Which popular book series slash TV show uh, was based on, was created and based on a lost Doctor, T- Doctor Who story, The Highlanders? So Sorry, t- which? Which popular book series and TV show was inspired by slash based on The Highlanders? Oh... That's an interestingly that's an interestingly worded question. If it's okay. what I guess. I mean, if you can't get this, Kazi, you're not a real Scot. I mean, come on. No, I'm really not. I'm pretty poor. Um. Is it Katie Morag? <laughs> they're my favourite Scottish books. I mean, I work in early years, so <laughs> that's as good as it gets. Oh. Outlander. Yes. Is it? it is. I did not know you did. Oh God. Yeah. I just went pick a Scottish series. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to bits of the set of that as well. Oh, have you? The Royal Mile. Yeah, there's bits of it filmed in the Royal B- Mile. Bits of oh, it, really? not like Did you know? Sets. <laughs> no, like they've used actual bits of actual Scotland rather than a TV studio. Do you know though, they've used the... So they filmed some of it in the cathedral in Glasgow. But it's, yes. so, oh, it's so tacky that when you go right... So you go into the cathedral and you just get in the door and there's a sign that's like please don't wear any hats because you're in a church and you should have not have a hat on and you're like oh shit okay and you take off your hat and then you come in and don't say oh shit when you <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus Christ so you're like of course I'll take off my hat and then you go in and there's just an outlander gift <laughs> like oh, man. Like, it's what Jesus would have wanted. He'd be trashing that temple. He'd be like, no, like, like in all the paintings where he's turning over the tables. He'd be like, fuck this. Like, yeah, it's like Outlander t shirts, Outlander. And you're like, 
They're mm. probably selling outlander hats. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're not, not allowed, allowed to wear, to wear them after you leave the shop. Wearing. Okay, Harold. Okay, I'm gonna go for H6, please. Okay, Robert. H6, it's a mystery square. Oh, it's a riddle. Is it? Is it an hourglass? It's not. <laughs> okay. Is it a sundial? It's not a sundial. We'll give, is it a disgruntled it, teacher? We'll give you the yeah. question first. So, there are two Daleks in front of a Dalek, two Daleks behind a Dalek, and a Dalek in the middle. How many Daleks are there? Say that again. <laughs> There's two Daleks in front of a Dalek. Yeah. Two Daleks behind a Dalek and a Dalek in the middle. Seven. No. Two Daleks behind a Dalek. <laughs> yeah. Two Daleks in front of a Dalek and a Dalek in the middle. Yeah. Hmm. It's not seven. No, but some of them double up. The one in the middle yeah. is... Uh... Is it five? I get five. Right, good night. No. <laughs> okay. oh, he's gone, that's he's it. Gone. He's gone, no. is that right. Uh, right. So, two uh, Daleks. Two Daleks. Dalek. Two, da- two Daleks are in front of the last Dalek. It's five. Yeah. The first Dalek has two Daleks behind and one Dalek in the middle. It's three. Uh, yeah, because you a straight can... line. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. No. Is one of them See, secretly Rob, the thing is, Before we started doing these after shows, we all thought you were a really sound bloke. We loved you. Yeah. We thought you were the best. And <laughs> now we just like... hate you. Look at his little face. <laughs> he's loving this. He's trying to pretend he's not loving it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, as soon as we're finished, love, guess what? They got them all wrong. <laughs> yeah, idiot. I'm great. <laughs> I bet he was watching Doctor Who, really sympathising with the master. Just like, <laughs> we could be great mates. Tell you what, yeah. that's a good plan. <laughs> mm. Well, if someone wants to take over next time, I can play. That's us, tell. come to the next one with a challenge for Rob. Mm. Oh, that's a good idea. Just a string just of riddles. Now, can I just <laughs> say? Who's got secret Santa? <laughs> hats off to Nitro Rob. Chance. Yeah. We're organising all this and yeah. creating yeah. these, the graphics and everything. Brilliant. I, I was going to say, I could barely log into Skype, let alone set up a... Uh... It's all right. A tear, Cheers. Rob. <laughs> Till we meet again, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do now? We've got a... Oh, the night is young. 35 Let's minutes get <laughs> What are your hopes going forward? In life. Not, not, not in life. <laughs> like, Cancellation. You know. <laughs> well. Because we kind of know what the roadmap is now. Hmm. Phase one. Well, I mean, I was quite surprised to see Shooty in the coming up trailer because I assumed yeah, it would just be all day, David Tennant and then he wouldn't come in until those specials were over. So mm. I, I've seen is he just going to crop up at the end? or I've seen him in interviews. I've seen snippets of sex education. But in that mm. trailer, oh, he's gorgeous, isn't he? That was lovely. <laughs> <Yeah. first time. laughs> he went, David <laughs> Shooty. In that trailer, That's I was just, just, yeah. I was just yeah. like... Take <gasps> Anthony Ainley... Oh, <laughs> is probably spinning his grave now because uh, yeah, you've got a new favourite now. Yeah. And in the end, he's forever got a special place in my heart. But, you know, where he stood, he's got that shirt on, but now, oh, ah, he's the heat, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he shares your birthday. He does, yeah. yeah. Could oh, be brothers. Lucky. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I think he's brilliant. I think he's he's coming across really well in the bits of interviews and stuff that we're seeing. I think he's coming across really well. I think he's going to be brilliant. I, 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 don't, I don't think they'd have taken anyone on who doesn't, but I get the feeling he just really fucking gets it. He knows yeah. what yeah. he's doing. And yeah. having watched all of Sex Education, he's got such a range. He can, His character goes through so much and he mm-hmm. can just do all of them impeccably. I think he's going to be really, really good. I'm really looking forward to it. I might watch sit, try and watch Sex Education I before it's got plenty of time. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah, see, I've not really seen much of it either, but. Mm. I watched like two episodes and I, you know, when it's just one of those, this is not a thing that I'm going to be into. So yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, can't, I can't really watch that. But I did watch some bits that he was in. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to sort of know. I think the thing is, you'll see the first couple of episodes, you think, oh, he's going to be a fairly one note character. But yeah, it's not it really. You have to watch it through to really see the journey that character goes on. He's th- absolutely brilliant. I think the mm-hmm. thing that I'm not into is that he's sort of been a bit overshadowed by the whole tenant thing. Mm-hmm. To, yeah, to a certain it's extent, it's sort of, it's a bit sort of, you know, what do you want? Do you want new one or do you want tenant? I think it's a little bit, I think it's a bit shit really to sort of say, here's the new doctor. And then a couple of days later, be like, and guess who's back? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's a double edged sword, isn't it? Because you've got, I mean, he is, whether he's someone you're not keen on or, whether you love him to bits, he is probably the most popular doctor in yeah. the recent series. Yeah. So if you want to get people tuning back in again, who perhaps have moved on to other things, I've seen quite a few people saying, I haven't watched it for a while, but he's back, so I'm definitely going to watch that. Yeah. So that's just going to give it an instant lift. So if you've got mm-hmm. those people on board already, and then you've got this really good actor coming in, I think it's, it's, it's a it's smart on, move. It's on Disney Plus. Yeah. 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 How are we mm-hmm. feeling about that? I mean, it doesn't affect us so much because we're in the UK, so we'll be watching <laughs> yeah. the BBC. Yeah. But, um... I think, I mean, there is a massive uh, American market, isn't it? So I guess anything that makes mm-hmm. it easier to keep those viewers is is good. Mm-hmm. Have, you, have you heard the whole sort of uh, the BritBox thing as well? What What's happening there? The BBC are pulling out of BritBox. No. So that means right. all of Doctor Who is going to be going from oh. BritBox as well. Okay, so you're going to have everything on Disney? I think they might be. I, I, I think wow. ITV have bought out BBC. So it's going to be called mm. like ITV Great. Plus or like whatever it is. Like it's going to be their sort of thing of like ITV, maybe like Channel 4. Yeah. Because mm. so, I do my it, show with. Sorry. I, I was just going to say it, it's a narrow demographic, but everyone I know that's got Brickbox solely has it for Doctor Who. Yeah. 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 It's expensive, yeah? Is it like a tenner or something? No, like six quid. All right. Yeah. Because my, my wife keeps saying, like, oh, we need, Disney to, Plus. we need to cut that costs. Way. Can we get rid of Brickbox? And I'm like, nah. Mm. Need that. Well, well, my friend uh, and I do the show with Ian, he's moved to the States, and already, this obviously leads into what you've just been saying, um, he was expecting it to have the same stuff that we've got on BritBox over here. And the only, we've just done season four and the only one that's from season four that's on there is Power of the Daleks. Yeah. That's it. All right. Um, so it's a much smaller selection. Well, wow. speaking of Power that's of the amazing. Daleks, mm. obviously the funding has been cut for the animations. Yeah. But is yeah. this because Disney I've got a hand in sort of money spending things so that they'll sort of fund all of this stuff rather than being like sort of, you know, mm. it seems to have come like around about the same time that sort of it may be getting removed from BritBox and Disney is sort of partnering with Bad Wolf for it and mm. the BBC America cut the funding for the animations. Mm-hmm. I mean, my so, preferred outcome is that they've just found a massive batch of missing ones and they're just restoring them now so they can get them out. Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised for the 60th if something comes out. Because we had that in the 50th, didn't we? There was there was a rumour, wasn't there, that they'd tracked down a fan that had a lot of things. Got a copy of stuff, yeah. Is it in Australia? Yeah. 
and it was sort of with I think it was just with a private collect- collector more than mm. a sort of fan. So, you know, I don't care who you are. If the price is right, mm. I think you'll get rid. I think Mark it, knows where they are. Rob Irwin's got them from the Doctor Who show. Why do you Come think on, he's blurred his background? That yeah. bookcase behind Mark. Like, he's just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you found me out. But I think I'm not sure how I feel about the Disney thing because, on the one hand, it can only be a good thing that sort of the BBC and Disney probably the two biggest, or one, you know, two of the biggest sort of yeah, you know. It's going to be worldwide, like literally mm-hmm. Doctor Who is going to be Marvel level of sort of, mm-hmm. it's going to be everywhere. Do you think it's going we'll to be interesting. Spin off wise? Sorry, talking over here. No, go on. Well, just, just before it came, just before it got announced today, I was sort of, I was driving around thinking, I wonder what they're going to do, like going forward. And I just thought, there's no way they're going to do the spin off. So I don't think it's going to be as big as people are going to say i think russell's going to try a couple of spin-offs like he did before you'll get like a torch woody kind of thing uh, and it won't be great but they'll just keep going with it and blah 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 blah. but now that the disney plus thing is like completely confirmed i think they're going to do it i mm. think there's going to be a lot of stuff it's a model that works yeah. mm. well i was thinking before when russell t davis was <clears throat> at the helm right <clears throat> this was when it you know, that was when he was just bringing it back and trying to convince a bunch of people that people were going to watch this and that it was going to work yeah. and constantly grappling over budget. That's not how he's coming at it now. Like, like he made it so famous, like yeah. so famous and so successful and such a, a moneymaker, really. Yeah. And they know that now. So he's like to see him come at it from this angle is going to be really interesting. I can't see how... He, I feel like he could do anything, really. When now that they know how big it can be, I think. Uh, do you know? Uh, I know it sounds stupid. It's. It feels like one of the reasons that I don't want to watch it is not to sort of be that sort of, you know, I'm not interested. Blah 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 blah. Which I probably won't be interested because I think you probably get to a certain point where you sort of realise that it's just not made for you for whatever kind of doctor who that you like mm. there's going to be times where it is not for for you and i mm. think i've just got this sort of internal fear that if it gets huge they're going to just start doing things that keep making money like loads of spin-offs and blah 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 blah, blah. whereas in my head i just want good stories <laughs> i just want doctor yeah. who to just be on a saturday mm. and just have good stories and i want daleks yeah. every now and again and i want cybermen every now and again and i want stupid monsters with massive eyes but it's yeah. they're not going to do that like they'll do some of that but they've planted so many seeds of different things they could do now of like companions going off on adventures and every now and again because they've got a chip in their shoulder they can sort of just talk to their old doctor every now and again for advice and they go off on adventures and do things there's so many open doors now for it that mm. you know they've got free reign to do whatever they want to do and i think russell's such a big name uh, on one hand he is a big name and on the other hand nobody knows who he is because he's just a man that makes things on the telly but mm. he's got a lot of clout in that world and if he yeah. says i think this is a great idea disney are gonna go there's your check, right? How much you need? Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Do you, do you think it's going to be like a genuine third age of Doctor Who? Do you think it's going to be as different from modern Who as modern Who is to classic? Or do you think they have to maintain that core fan base? Because they could just do what they tried to do with the TV movie and just go <clears> like, <throat> lump it, this is what Doctor Who is now. Mm. Maybe I, I, I think they're gonna go the the fan the fan wank direction, like heavily that way. Because I think if you didn't enjoy Power of the Doctor, getting back to that thing, if you didn't enjoy Power of the Doctor, there is enough in that episode that makes you go, I like that bit. Like, oh, Colin Baker, God, look, Peter Davison, 
and it it does sort of mm. gloss over things like clunky dialogue. And it, mm. I think that's the way that you can get. I mean, that's it. great for a, a one-off special, but I mean, if you're trying to rely on that every week, that's yeah. only going to go so far. But what if they mm. kind of branch that off and we get more of the classics um, headlining their own spin-offs? I mean, we just need Paul McGann to just have a spin-off. I mean, everybody's yeah. said yeah. it for, oh, forever. I, um, I know I know. we were just like, oh, not sure about the spin-offs, but I mean, yeah. if I got a Paul McGann yeah. spin-off... It's oh, weird, it's like, McGann, of all the crap time. that we do get, people want him back. Like read the comments, like yeah, the, somebody. Yeah, and it's just and not I happening. Think if it was going to happen, it's going to happen now. And like Mark said, they need to get him in quick. I reckon mm-hmm. they've got like six years, five or six years before Paul McGann is grey and isn't going to run down that corridor mm-hmm. quite as quick as he could. Sure, like, he's, I'm he's sure he'll still... still be a silver fox. Oh yeah, he's, he's so just... dishy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so but, like now is the time and especially with the 60th yeah. coming out they could be like well we'll film it now and then next year we'll just be like there's paul mcgann you know mm-hmm. you've been asking for it for years you even know. and as someone right i haven't even seen the tv movie but i do love paul mcgann but even just night of the doctor is fucking great yeah. i could watch night of the doctor anytime when he's like yeah. bring me knitting i was like mm. when? yeah i love that line <sighs> Yeah, I think it'd be interesting my, to see what they do with it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my my worry with the sort of the Disney and the Sony thing is that they start getting too many other kind of parties involved. Do you know what I mean? And particularly with the sort of American side to it, mm. is I think something that even in America and with American audiences, <laughs> is that there is something really quintessentially British about Doctor Who, and. I th- yeah. There's so many things that America have tried to kind of adopt that just don't work over there mm. when they try and make them, you know, like the amount of sitcoms they've tried to remake mm. as American things and they don't work. And even the American fans are like, <laughs> we don't like this. Or they only work the if they make it. Love it, it is yeah. British. Mm. They, mm. yeah they, they only work if they make them completely different. Like if you've got The Office, say, that's mm. not any, it only works because it's not anything like the British office. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, the amount of time, you know, something like Doctor Who, if you take that, it's it's sort of too well established for them to do that with. You know, where the office was kind of a, a nice kind of concealed entity, like one mm. package. Mm. But, you know, Doctor for sure, yeah. Much, yeah. You know, and, and, and like I know obviously Bad Wolf and BBC have still got, you know, the, the, the creative side to it at the moment, but it's that way of like, I'm just thinking like your Faulty Towers, your Red Dwarf, your stuff that they tried to take over to America before. Mm. I'm like, please don't. To me, I don't want them to try and marvel it because like I'm, I'm not a Marvel fan at all, but to me, I, I cannot make head nor tail of any of Marvel stuff at all. There's too much of it and it goes off in too many different directions and I'm like, stop. Mm. Um, You know, and the fact that Disney have now bought like even your Star Wars and you go to the Disney parks now and there are Star Wars things I'm like are they going to start doing that to Doctor Who and do I want that mm. do you know what I mean I don't want to get gatekeepy about the programme either because obviously the good side of it is that hopefully you know Disney will potentially bring a lot of new like young folks like a lot of young kids and yeah. stuff mm. that I have would... already got Disney anyway might be like hey what's this mm. which is cool mm. Because it always comes back to kids want to play Daleks in the playground and they want to be the Doctor. Mm. And they want, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if they if they do spin-offs, but like you say, it'll bring it to a new audience. Whether they treat Doctor Who now as a sort of not as clean cut as this, but like as like a tor- like you're passing the torch onto like the new generation of Doctor Who. But your spin-offs, yeah. we'll do Paul McGann. We'll do. We'll bring back old companions for spin-off things. So if you're still into Doctor Who, follow Doctor Who. But the the spin-offs will be a sort of way for the older fans. I say older fans, like yeah. for all of us. People watching now, we might not be into it when Russell comes back, to sort of carry on with the journey. But you're still yeah. getting sort of Doctor Who, but it's all of the things that some sort of care to some extent it's not to say you can't evolve it and you can't do something with it but just don't totally bastardize it is all i'm asking yeah. do you know what but I, mean? I guess this is a good point a really good positive way of looking at spin-offs is saying 
maybe that stop maybe maybe having those spin offs to ki- spin offs to kind of purge those extra ideas means that actual Doctor Who stays quite streamlined and quite yeah yeah it stays the kind of institution mm-hmm. that it is and then yeah. you're gonna have less angry people all saying but I want Doctor Who like this but I want it like that when it's like okay well look you can if that's like Harry says it's like okay well if that's what you want hey look there's a thing over here that you can watch yeah like, yeah, it, yeah uh-huh. and then it's you know if you're not into that you can stick to your own bit in the middle like, yeah totally I think the 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 big one of the biggest fears I think is like what you just said then about like the whole Marvel thing where they will just swamp it'll just be like treacle there'll just be so much stuff yeah that it's I lose interest I think that's one of the reasons that I'm not into Marvel I never have been I really struggle with the whole superhero thing anyway but I know Luke is like a big Marvel fan and like my other half Leah she's in they're both like they think it's great but there's just so much of it I'm not interested because I don't even know where to start and I think coming from another perspective so I really like Marvel and I really like Star Wars but like when I grew up like you had three Star Wars films and then it was 20 years till you got another one and it was this big event now literally on Disney Plus you have a Marvel series then when that finishes there's a Star Wars yeah, series then, and, and it, as a fan it's too much like I just mm-hmm. can't take it in do you mm-hmm. find you keep up yeah. with it though Matt? so like um, I haven't watched the new Star Wars and it, it's only yeah, like for example I'm, I'm off work this week so I've like shotgunned loads of TV and I don't know, because I just think if I watch that, it'll introduce some new character that will get their spin-off, and it it just grows. I've, I've and people already feel like it. that with Doctor Who, mm. I think. <laughs> like, maybe don't... Like, people that I talk to that aren't fans, like, in my life, that I think they're a bit like, oh, yeah, it seems it seems cool, and but, uh, but I don't know... I mean, I wouldn't know where to start if I was, wasn't a Doctor yeah. Who fan, mm-hmm. and it looked cool. <laughs> What do you think the know, just, Disney Plus thing could mean for like Big Finish? Because their license could could go if things get a bit complicated. Screw them. No. Yeah, good <laughs> <riddance. laughs> Let's Russell get someone new doing down already, voices. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they, do that again. Yeah. They've had a good run. Yeah, the, it's but... time now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> new chapter. Small start productions now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time for a big, big danger, finish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> sweet. Taxi. <laughs> Candy. <Yeah. laughs> so, should we do another round? Yes. Oh, go on then. Go on then. Go on, Mark. Right. Have we got a grid? We got a grid. It's a bit delayed for you. But... Yes. Bear with us, faithful viewers, if you're still there. How many viewers we got? Ooh. We got six watching. Yeah. That includes me and Matt, so... Um... And me. And me. Uh, oh, right, okay. <laughs> so watching. we have zero. It's just us <laughs> six. I will go for... Da, 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 da. F1. Okay. F1 is a, a mystery. Okay, here's a... Uh, it's, a what? it's a riddle for you. Oh my god. Sundial. Okay. <laughs> in eighteen seventy three. In eighteen seventy, a sala <laughs> let me say it. A Silurian is fifteen years old. In eighteen seventy five, the same Silurian is ten years old. <laughs> How? <laughs> I'm gonna just press Rob, mute. It's not big. It's not clever. All right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the right ump now. <laughs> Jesus, what sort of question is that? <laughs> Run that by me again. So in 1870. <laughs> so in 1870, he was 15. Right. In 1875, he was 10. How's that? <sighs> I've 
Go on, Matt. You've you've obviously worked it out. Go on. Is it that it was 1870 BC and the numbers are going the other way? Yeah. Well Look done. at that. Big up the Yorkshire <laughs> Massive. <laughs> well done. All my confidence has come flooding back. Look at that. We'll be able yeah. to get through the door. That hourglass seems like ages yeah. ago now. Could all change like now. Ago. It's your turn now, Matt, though. So. All right. Um, <laughs> go on then, Mark. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go B5. Okay. It's another mystery space. Here we go. <laughs> Could all come crashing down again. Okay. Uh, these are just riddles I've found and I've just threw in like Rand. Yeah, we, we can tell, Rob. Right? Yeah, we yeah, got it. Just break them off now. Okay. An, an ice warrior is looking at a photograph of someone. His friend, the Absorbalo. <laughs> His friend, the Absorbalo, asks, who is it? The Ice Warrior replies, brothers, brothers and sisters, I have none. But that Ice Warrior's father is my son. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Do you remember a TV program that used to be on called Three Two One? <coughs> look, go no. and, when you finish doing this, go onto YouTube, look up Three Two One Quiz Show. Okay. And they had Three Two One. They had this kind of thing going where you'd you'd have to work out a riddle, and it made as about as much sense as what you just said there. <laughs> honestly. Right. Right. Uh, Rob, repeat I, the question. I'll, I'll remove the ridiculous names. So, a man is looking at a photograph of someone. Okay. His friend asks, who it is? Who is it? Right. <laughs> so, the, he's looking at a photograph of someone. His friend asks who it is. The man replies, Brother, brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my son. Who's in the photograph? So it's the first man's grandchild. No. It's his son. <laughs> Should... Just repeat the question for me, please. <laughs> right. Brothers so... and sisters, I've got none. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The man in the fire. Left again. Right. That that Did... his father Hold is up. my son. Did it, so uh, his it's got well, a grandfather. Unless I've read it wrong. You have, yeah. Yeah. Because the answer's you have. Grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I might have read it wrong, but it says the man's father is his father's son. So uh, since I got it wrong, I'm going to give you the points. Yeah, that's fair. Thank you, Rob. To be fair, there's only like five pain in the arse mystery boxes here, and you picked all four. You picked four of them. I haven't got your graphical prowess, but I'm doing the quiz next time, Rob. Okay. <laughs> and I get a funny feeling you'll have picked a lot of riddles next time, my friend. Shona. Yep. Um, H5? Have we had H5? Uh, no, we haven't. Cool. It's a candy. Oh, yes. You can take, oh, you no. can take it or... Okay. Compose a poem on the spot based on a topic chosen by the group. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> no messing. Straight egg timers. <laughs> what? It's got to be egg timers. It's got to be egg timers. Or fan wank. Or fan wank. <laughs> Both? Both, yeah. Paul and Pope books. Um, oh, hang on, I'm going to get a comfy for this. Okay. <sighs> Fan wank is nothing to do with masturbation. I will give you an explanation. <laughs> I do not need an egg timer to do this for you. I can count to ten as I did earlier. I will show you. 
<laughs> it's actually just when there's lots of characters you like all together and you sometimes you wish Doctor Who could go on on, on like this forever and ever but it can't it must finish and um, this season is over so um you know uh, good luck like a four leaf clover and uh, the time is up just like the egg uh, back to you Rob that was beautiful uh, good. <laughs> I did get some help from Harry on the end to stick the landing, but otherwise I think it was pretty solid. Brilliant. That was well, very yeah. impressive. It yeah. was very moving. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of what my work is like. Yeah, um, yeah. I really Not as, to it aim should have right been a bit more cryptic, heart. though. I think. Do you think? Yeah, it was a bit on yeah, the nose. I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You should have you should have just gone off on some completely <laughs> random tangent that didn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. And that would have been very much in keeping. I By the way, in case anyone's wondering, yeah. I've just been outside shouting into the air because I was so cross about that last one. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbours have all come out to wonder what's going on. <laughs> and who can blame you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cat's freaked right out. She doesn't know what to do now. Hope you're happy, Rob. Sorry. Smile. <laughs> He's like, yes, I am. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love when we see the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's Hi, so cat. Lift you up. Are you going to be? Hello. Oh, Hello, cat. Down you go. Hello. Yeah, oh. she's like, right, fuck off. <laughs> she's not having fuck it. Fuck off. Definitely not having it. She's crossed with Rob as well. Oh well. <laughs> there you go. Right, I, I've got a plan to get you back, Rob, when we finish this round. I'm, wor I'm oh. worried. I like the sound of that. Oh well, Kazzy. Right. Um, B3, please. Okay. You found the final mystery space. And doesn't she look happy? <coughs> Don't worry, I'm and sure I'll be really picture. straightforward. Can I just Kathy? say as well, right, the one who's a dancer for a living and writes poetry in her spare time has had dancing and poetry. Mm, mm, I feel a stitch up coming on do you, you think you could, yeah. do you think you could tell from those both performances <laughs> that those are things that I legit get paid money for? could have fooled us. <laughs> Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> She went to Absolutely. the same drama school as David Tennant and she got one. Absolutely you know? <laughs> Fixed. Here, here goes. Patrick Troughton had a long one. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it there. Just leave it there. Right. Is it a sundial? Well, I've been mum. <laughs> Colin Baker has a short one. David Tennant has a pretend one. Paul McGann always uses his, but the Pope never uses his. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Wow, um, Rob. Yeah. Oh, do I mean, you come up with them? Right. Go over it again. Hold on. Okay, so Trouton's got a long one. Colin Baker's got a short one. Tennant's got a pretend one. McGann always uses his, and the Pope never uses his. Oh, is it their name? Yeah, it's the surname. Yes! <gasps> it's their surnames, because David that. Tennant's not really a David Tennant. Yeah, three points. Oh my Kevin, God! you are a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Okay. Get me a hat immediately. You can't wear it in church, though. No. I'm not in church, though. Well done. <laughs> oh, I am Very so impressed. fucking smug with that. <laughs> You'll sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. I will. I will. I can rest it's easy to I'll still be thinking about bloody sand timers though. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, Harry. Right. Uh I'm gonna go for 
E6, please. Okay. It's a candy. Okay. So you can take it. Yeah. Or if you want to double it, do your best impression of a baby being born. Right. Okay. Was that the impression? <laughs> yeah, that's how I was born. Right. <laughs> right. God, no. <laughs> oh, David Tennant. No, um, yeah. Um, it, does this involve sound or is it a visual medium or just. Just, just get creative. Get creative. Um, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> Actually, bear with. You're going method. for it. Two points there. Can I get off the floor now? You can get off now, yeah. <laughs> well. Cassie's broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I think she actually might be broken. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, what a way to end the show. Exactly. <laughs> Stars we mean to go on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's midnight now. You mm. sadly only found two of the five artifacts and you, you didn't assemble it and find out what it was. Uh, well, can we can we see no, it again just to try and No thanks to you, Rob. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll pop it on screen. Did my bit. There, Rob. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Any more hints? Are you gonna Are you gonna just let us have? Should I just reveal it all? Another piece? Oh, it, well, oh bit by bit, yeah. Bit yeah. by bit. Okay. So there's another bit. I'll just reveal it all. There you go. <laughs> Give it a couple of hours for me to catch up. I was gonna say. Um, I think <laughs> I've just given birth. So. <laughs> Born again. Oh, oh! The after show live. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What a time. Mm -mm. All right. Well. Well. Very creative. Yeah. There was going to be a whole story with it, but I thought that's a bit stupid. So. Never mind. Oh, hey. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid, but. Acting, asking me to give birth isn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't dim your light. <clears throat> yeah, Shona, can you just dance like a cowboy for a minute? If that's all right. <laughs> but the story is just stupid. Yeah. We're all, yay! There she is. Hey. Hey. Yeah. We're we're all just pawns in Rob's sick games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna want to come back. When are we doing the next one? That's what I want. Well, we've got 13 months till the next episode, guys. So, <laughs> yep. But we have got presents I've ordered, so. Yeah, we that's should do happening. a gift opening. Well, so, are we doing like a holiday yeah. special? Yes. The after show holiday <laughs> special. Oh my god. Oh, cute. Oh! Yeah. yeah. We can do the panto there. Yeah. 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 Or we could. Oh, no, we can't. What? I'm just a Harry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh well, we'll Realize. do it. Uh, no more riddles, eh? 
No, you're I not tell, tell me. That's, but, yeah. It was so Sorry, inspiring when Percy months, saw that. I won't be angry anymore, Rob, so it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. It was so inspiring when Cassie down. got hers, though, that I feel like oh, it was no. all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks, Cassie. You made me feel even more stupid. Yeah. It was like, we didn't think you could be done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it turns out the only thing I do know anything about is Doctor Who, so that was friggin' lucky. What really going to happen? Confirmed, no. <laughs> An outlander. Yeah. An outlander, apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Not taking any t- stereotypes at all over here. <laughs> So, well, I am so, so sad because I'm actually a clock enthusiast in my spare time and I really <laughs> feel I've betrayed myself and let myself down. Oh. What, so you... are we going to... Uh, I'm hoping that then the after show festive special yes. is going to be the sort of... You know when you get to open one present like before Christmas? Mm-hmm. Like is that going to be the one? I guess, like, we'll just dress up in what Christmas jumpers and we'll open the presents in front of each other. Brilliant. Except for Mark, have... Mark, who will be sat there with no presents. I don't even have a Christmas jumper. That's sad, isn't it? Oh, I, Mark, yeah. Ah, and, I, I, and I might be on tour, but I'll... Oh, just cancel it. Yeah. Do you know what? It's a Christmas carol, so that would actually be quite Brilliant. fitting with the story. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we'll all come and see it and we'll open our presents. Skype has <laughs> a mobile app. <laughs> You can Skype on the yep. door. Just, just before I go on. <laughs> I don't know why, Shona, but I just assumed you'd be playing principal boy in something and you know flying around the stage. That's, and that's the classic. That that's my classic casting. But but the good thing is that my other classic casting is like street urchin. So nice. and, you know, and a Christmas Carol is his wife with them, as mm-hmm. as yeah. anyone would know. Yeah. Yeah. Little yeah. shits. Yeah, just little small annoying people being like. Who can, we get, who can we get to play a little shit? <laughs> it's literally top of her CV. Like, Peter yeah. Pan is a little shit, honestly. Peter Pan. Such an ass. Uh, but I'll be there in spirit, if nothing else. Literally, probably. I might be Christmas playing Carol. a spirit, yeah. 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 <laughs> Would we do it like a live one? Or like a pre-recorded for a change. We could do it pre-recorded. Yeah, but, yeah I could probably do that. Yeah. Maybe we'll I mean, that. my the thing I've ordered is going to be here in about three days, so whenever you fancy, <laughs> <laughs> and get a Christmas jumper out. If we're theming it, did I miss that? Oh yeah, I yeah, could do with knowing that. <laughs> what is the just, just go for a free for all. <laughs> What okay. Would, what, what, like, how to dress? No. I you mean, can wear what you want, Rob. We're doing, like, uh, you, you feel free. Feel free to come in whatever you're comfortable with. But um, <laughs> As long as it's a morph suit. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do we have to be comfortable with it? Because that's a whole other thing. <laughs> no, I was thinking whether we're not... Rob's doing his full Rocky you. Horror Show outfit. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh. Doesn't have a Christmas jumper, but does have that in his wardrobe. Is that <laughs> okay? <coughs> no, it was just whether it was to be a doctor present. But if we're going rogue, then we're going rogue. And are we going nice gift or you bastard? Well, it looks like you've already decided that. Well, we all need <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, Interesting question. When you've already six bought the gift. <laughs> just to confirm. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I do Secret Santa at work sometimes, and it's just being nice, and that's a bit crap. Oh, is it? Mm. Yeah. No, I don't nice think I've ever done nice. Secret Santa before, to be honest. It's like I don't want to disappoint someone, but I don't want to get something that's not funny. Yeah. Tricky. What, what do people want to see? Do people want to see us being yeah. delighted or depressed? <laughs> That's the thing. I'm such an upbeat, positive sure. person normally. Mm. Right. It's just to be expected, isn't it, really? That I just <laughs> shower yeah. you all with love. Mm. You don't want to ruin someone's Christmas, do you? Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Harry, is it a sundial? Uh, it's an egg timer. Uh. <laughs> Without the sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fill-your-own egg timer. <laughs> 
fill it with all the moving parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have to count them as you put them in? Yeah. It's the only way to get it accurate. I'm just going to put one in to prove Rob wrong. So they've got one moving car. <laughs> well, it's past midnight. Um, now can... it starts. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome after to dark. After Show After Dark. Here we go. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> The drawstrings the of his hoodie became loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't think anyone's ready for that. If that mean, if does that mean like it's the Torchwood to Doctor Who? Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Just think. Chibnall's Matt's excited. First Look at him. The, uh... Look at his little face. Yeah. Chibnall started no, with a stage of suicide like every week <laughs> on Torchwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we found the body. Let's make it look like suicide. <laughs> Every week. Bloody Torchwood. Mm. Bloody shit. It's so weird because it's one of those things I remember watching it when it came out thinking, <laughs> so edgy, I'm so cool. Then you watch it back oh. now and go, this has aged poorly. It's just slime. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how old is Torchwood now? What is it, like, sort of 15... Yeah, oh, 2007. Six? Oh, no. Geez, yeah. Five. No, it was Four. six. It was six. 2000. Yeah, you haven't lived till 17 years. Shout at a shadow. That's. <clears throat> that was my weekend. Good news for you, Matt. Series three is only five episodes. Uh, everyone fucking bangs on about series three. I've got to get there. <laughs> You've got to watch two series of shite, and then apparently mm. it's like spiritual yeah. awakening. <laughs> oh, there's no way you're going to enjoy it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Set him up yeah. for that. Ruined for you. Yeah. Who set that up for him? Because at least he's got series four. Yeah. There's always the option of just mm. cancelling the part. It's always an option. I enjoyed every single person's face. <laughs> it was a just oh, a, a beautiful mm. plethora of emotion. Take a leaf out of our book, Matt. <laughs> yeah, just you know what to problem. do. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. Text yeah. David and say, I don't think I'm in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then David can text you back and say, but what about the patron? What do we do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to dish yeah. out some scores quick. Oh, um, yeah. Scores in, on the doors. In last oh place is Mark. I'm sorry. Oh, what is it? Oh. You, you did find one piece of the artifact. But yeah, I did. You only got what did I get for that? Two Sweet crappy yeah. bits of candy in the bottom of your bucket. Nothing. Uh, in, Thank you, Robert. In third place is Carolyn. Hey. Three. Join second. It is Sean and Harry. Good Sharon. game, good game. Do you still hear me now, Matt? Have I won? How has that happened? <laughs> Sean is it like QI? Nobody knows. Where nobody knows. Nobody how knows how this <laughs> How is this Rob's just been awarded in points. All sorts of funny things he said. <laughs> Rob's just chosen who he likes the best, and yeah. that's the win. Rob's just the Oprah Winfrey of the quiz, <laughs> quiz yeah. hosts. You can have a point. You can have a point. Congratulations, Matt. Well done. Yeah, very well deserved yeah. there. Some of them were dished you out like the, three candies. So, yeah. You win the after show sundial yeah. and clock. <laughs> <laughs> and teapot. Commemorative uh, yeah. egg time. Yeah. So you're doing wow. the quiz next time, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's you what you win. <laughs> you win. You win the autonomy uh, to do your own to quiz. Mm. You win extra responsibility that you didn't want. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's not for another year and a half. Mm. Oh, you got plenty of time to think of some questions. <laughs> uh, right, who's who's ringing Luke? <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm, I'm gonna download yeah. that app now. Right, Dale. 
Yeah, ring it because he'll think it's his uni. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Past <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll panic thinking he's got an assignment due or something. <laughs> Ugh. Can we all appreciate Shona's pillow choice as well? Let's have a look. My my flatmate brought this when he moved in um over summer and I'm obsessed with it. It's good, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, it's a nice mm. pillow. My my landlord gave me this chair thinking he was doing me a favour and it's the biggest fucking chair. Kaz, you've seen this. It's, yeah, the, yeah. it's the biggest fucking chair you can imagine. And for ages I couldn't figure out how big it was or why it was that big. And then I realised it does flip back and everything, which is great. Okay, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. But the reason... Demonstration. Oh, Demonstration. Come on. The reason you may not... No, Cassie, is because I have a very small flat. So my landlord was like, like the chair, thinking he'd done this amazing favor for me. And I was like, why have you given me this burden that, like, it takes up so much of the room and you can't put it in a convenient place where you can flip it out? Um, it seems like a stupid thing to complain about, guys, but, but you know, this I can is a feel the anger. Place. Yeah, it just. I think there was something about how, because he's quite a good landlord, like he's like he's quite approachable and he gets things done quick and stuff. And there was just something about the fact that he thought he'd done me this amazing favor and that he was like, "Look at this amazing chair I've got you." And I was like, "You shouldn't have bothered me. Like it's so big, it's a it's a obtrusive." Um, but uh, I think the pillows improved it. I think I'll have to change my Secret Santa order. Oh, <gasps> I get a if chair. It's a- if it's if it's another chair, if you burdened me with another chair, I'll get you a church pew. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> Twenty foot and an Outlander hat. Yeah. And I will wear it specifically at St Mungo's Church. <laughs> I'll be like, tell me, take this off, eh? What's Try wrong it. with St Mary's and St Mitch's? That's a that's a joke for the old that's school like... viewers. Yeah. <laughs> no one. Absolutely. It used to be a kid's cartoon when I was very, very tiny called Mary Mungo and Midge. Oh. Uh, does anybody remember Okie Doke? Yes. I was thinking about that the other day. I had the nippiest theme tune that would be stuck and in your head for the rest of eternity. I watched one of those compilations on YouTube, like the best kids theme tunes, as you do. And I was like, fucking hell, this is great. I forgot about this. <laughs> if you have a problem and you need a helping hand. It's brilliant. Great. It was quite Not a cute little creature, though, wasn't it? Oh, like, I don't know. Actual, it was. It was a bit weird looking. Oh, yeah, he was yeah, like an acorn, wasn't he? He was, like a little... he was like Rayman before Rayman. <laughs> yeah, he is a bit. <laughs> Luke's not answering. Is he not? It's probably the unknown oh, number that's trying to ring him. Oh, shall I answer my phone after midnight from an unknown number? <laughs> Who could yeah, go on. on. <laughs> Seems legit. The message about the wrong number. Is plus four four just a zero? Or is that zero seven? Yeah. Just yeah, zero. it's just zero. Yeah. Read Should we read out his number? Yeah, read it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, live yeah, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, seven, <laughs> seven. <laughs> I'll put it in the chat. But then he'll know. I just didn't read it anyway. It's probably asleep anyway. <laughs> yeah, probably. Mm, not working. Oh. Anyone else? No? Just David and Liam. Oh, ring David, come on. <laughs> oh, that's evil. Oh, that's no. Evil. Not that we'll cinnamon roll. Oh. So, I'll do it. <laughs> Go on then. I'll be the bad oh, guy. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not something that needs to... You'll think I'm joking, but David, he doesn't even use WhatsApp. He's only contactable through Facebook Messenger. I I, I don't even know if I've got his number. 
Have we got his number? Uh, maybe two, actually. It's, yeah, he's in WhatsApp. Yeah, I've got David's yeah, number. Yeah. Yeah. He's regretting that now. Hmm. Abort. Just type it, just type like... Um, Gen, uh, no, uh, yes, live at Madison Square Garden and uh, into a message, and he'd be straight there. King Crimson! <laughs> Camel! Right, come on, it's that time now. What's your favourite 70s obscure prog rock band? <laughs> Is it time to go to bed? <laughs> Can we all get into our big six person bed and go to sleep? Yeah. Like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Maybe that should be the play that we do for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's a really edgy it's, new work. <laughs> yeah. It's the one of those sky bit creepy. Like when we were all on a. We were all on an aeroplane once, weren't we? Yeah. Can, oh, yeah. can we do that again? Oh, my God. Yeah, what? let's go back on the aeroplane. How, how do we do that? Those hazy days. <laughs> we were all so young back then. Well, you were. I'm still old. Oh. So I think, I think you have to... Hold on. If I, go I like think this. I was can just Can you do it? <laughs> Is it in more or view? Uh, oh, my God. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, hey. Hi. Propping up the bar. <laughs> Why am I the smallest? Yeah. Why Shall... are some people clearly not invited? Yeah. More the <laughs> yeah, it's a very select bar. Show us fell under the bar. Yeah. Yeah, again. She has yeah. left her hat on a chair, though, because she's clearly gone to church. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've had too oh. much. <laughs> Your head gets a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I am look at, look at little Rob. To me. <laughs> <laughs> the irony oh, being like that Rob away. is the biggest man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I I often think about that that I don't know like what height everyone is, you know, that I've not met. <laughs> Rob's a fucking giant. Really? I just no. yeah, I keep hearing this. Yeah. Not that I would think you're small or anything, Rob, but I just wouldn't like. I don't know. Harry's big, tall as well. Yeah, apparently. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Harry, can we that'll high five? That'll be on your tombstone. Can we high you? five? <laughs> oh, I'll give it a go. I'm so jealous to not be in here. Yeah, I don't know. But why. I like oh. watching oh. you. Harry, hey. we can fist bump me. Oh, so we can. Hang on, hang on. Hang oh, on. wow. <laughs> I mean, this is wow. thrilling viewing for all, all those people who are going to be watching this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> tickling him. <laughs> Just a little tickle for you there, Rob. Harry suddenly got like a flat top. I was going to say. There. Like a, uh... yeah. Right. If it wasn't bedtime before, it definitely is now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. It's only, it's only a matter of time before Matt starts criticising me for wearing trousers in hot weather, as he did in York. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like the hottest day of the year and you were wearing rigger boots, jeans and like a thick linen shirt. Yeah, that is some I, I behaviour. He's come I all the way from Wales, it. come on. Exactly. You're driven in a van all day in <laughs> jeans and rigger boots. Like, it blew my mind. They're hardcore and, in Wales, they don't. They're not and an I felt candy. really guilty because when I went to the toilet, he paid for my lunch. <laughs> so I felt like a right tight bastard. So all right, we bitched about you on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know someone, and then you meet that you know, and then yeah. you realise, yeah, you only know the internet them. You don't know the mm. jeans wearing, mm. lunch paying, exactly. real them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Harold. And on that note. Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Good night. I'll see you all at the holiday special. Yeah, I'll, we'll I'm probably see you. Already. Yeah. We'll see you on WhatsApp tomorrow morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you to Rob again oh, for hosting yes. this. And Thanks for being well here. Well done, Rob. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Well done. Cheers. Happy birthday, Matt. Yeah. Yes, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'll sing you a song. Happy birthday, Shooty Gatwa. Yes. Ah, yes. I might dedicate a song this weekend to you, Matt, and I'll film it. 
I'll pretend right. that you're actually there. <laughs> oh. Here's a song for Matt over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting next to me. <laughs> he fucking loves Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Right, somebody right. needs to press that red button yeah. though. Well, bye. Yeah. Bye, everyone. See you Bye-bye. later. Bye. Bye.